you're just about to see the most gruesome, disgusting, perturbing, and sick Jagusa game. Nothing top this one. Oh god! Oh shit! <laughs> okay, well, then let me uh, do a little thing. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Hello. I guess everything's fine, except um, there's no audio? Oh, we are here without audio because, uh, oh yeah, because I muted before our reasons. There it is. There it is. The ultimate Jagusa game. What's up, guys? <laughs> how are we feeling? How are we, how are we monkeying around? <laughs> hey, check out the tutorial. This is important. I never played Monkey Ball. You move the joystick and that's it. But who gives a shit? So, um, yeah. I'm back, I guess, somehow. Look how we back at game. Hey, that is, this is important because this is the first this is the first monkey game of the channel. Also, I don't know if the audio is good. I hope it's good. If it's something else, you to say something. I'll do something, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first monkey game of the channel. I, I thought it was going to be like Donkey Kong or Ape Escape. And it's Super Monkey Ball. Which I never played Monkey Ball in my life. This is, this is my first ever experience with this franchise. Which this is the GameCube one. I think it's the first one released on consoles. First one. Until now, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, there's also three cowboy games. I mean, only two. Fallout New Vegas is a cowboy game, depending if you want to count it as a cowboy game. For me, it was a cannibalistic, explosive cowboy game. Ready? So, yeah. Oh, so, this isn't me. This is the... Okay, enough of this. Um, Bored. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are great. Um, I guess it's time for Monkey Ball. Just, uh, I didn't, I, as I said, I can't idea what to do this week. This, this was an empty week. I just wanted to have um, a free week. As I said, I was... I asked him for one full year. <laughs> as I said, okay, let's talk. Let's take a free week because I feel like it. I have whatever, who is a shit? I'm here. And um, as I said, I never played this game in my life. I mean, I know what Monkey Ball is. You move the joystick and physics happen, you know? <laughs> That's the thing. Physics happen. But yeah, cool. Funny how um, this, this was one of the biggest Jagusa Studios games before Jagusa, you know? Dragon Engine before Jagusa, yeah? This is... Do you go to the studio's first big hit, I think? I take a look about Nagoshi, about what, what he did before Jagusa, and he did a lot of stuff. He even worked with F-Zero. He worked on the F-Zero for the GameCube, which I had no idea. And there's a few games here and there, but you know, Nagoshi is, you know, Jagusa and Monkey Ball. So this is technically a Jagusa game. <laughs> I'm still surprised there's no Mo Monkey Ball minigame in Jagusa. I mean, you have Aya, ah, yeah, you have the monkeys and such. Monkey engine. Where is Kiryu? That's something really interesting to say because in the latest Monkey Ball game, you can play as Kiryu. And I'm not even joking, it's bad. I still have downloaded the picture. Check this out. You can play as Kiryu in a Monkey Ball game. It's real. John Jagusa himself is playable. Monkey Ball. <laughs> yeah, I guess the joke is wrong. That picture is real. That... Like... I'm not even kidding. This is a real picture of the latest Monkey Ball game. John Jagus is real. And he's inside some balls. <laughs> so, hey, Brick. Okay. I don't What's up, guys? <laughs> this is a real picture of a real Monkey Ball game. It's real. The Monkey Ball. <laughs> I also know the game changes that instead of getting bananas, you pick up stamina next. So yeah, so uh, there you go, guys. Okay, new new objective. Um, play every single game with Kiryu. So he's in this game. Kiryu is also in a in a in a golf game. Yeah, really nice, really cool. Okay, let's play. Um, let's enjoy some monkey's balls because that's the joke again. <laughs> 
10 years in the joint. 10 years in the joint makes okay. you a fucking pussy. Okay, it's been a full week, okay? It's been almost a full week. Okay. <laughs> nice, okay. Um. Oh, you can play main story multiplayer? Hey, that's nice. You will not receive play point, okay? I said, I never played Monkey Ball in my life. And you have this I I Mimi Baby and Gon Gon. I'm going for um okay we'll go with Ganon. <laughs> Welcome to the first Jagusa game. <laughs> this is the first Jagusa game. And Oh nice, I kept drifting. Oh my god, I'm using a GameCube, don't ask. So the game is simple, I mean, all I know with Monkey Ball most is the, the speedruns mechanics. This game goes insane when you speedrun the game. There are so many cool stuff to do here. I know for me, like, playing Monkey Ball for the first time in my life is like, eh. Like, watch out, pick the banana. Pick the banana. <laughs> so this is a little bit, um, wait, this is a stage below? Oh yeah, there's like some what, secrets in here. I mean, this is just baby mode, okay? I don't, I don't know. I can't, I never played this game. <laughs> Jagusa is full cast. Real Jagusa plays karaoke and go to the next game. Wait, can you spin the ball? Okay, this is good. This is doing nothing. I know you can jump in one of them, and I think everyone hates that monkey ball game. I know. Yeah, so you can pretty much speed run everything. Yeah, nice physics. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, this is enjoyable. This is a um, silly fun game. I mean, I never expected to, for Jagusa to start like this, but... Sure, like... Oh, shit. Do you have lives? I mean, a weird beginning for Jagusa, but hey, I'll take it. Nice one. For <laughs> Monkey Ball. Yeah, I guess that's uh, the joke of the day. Monkeys and balls. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's enjoyable. Like, it's just... Bonus level, what? <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know how you didn't throw out the balls out joke. This is what happens when kiddos go balls out. Balls <laughs> out. <laughs> this is the origin of the balls out, by the way. Tejima was talking about Monkey Ball. Tejima loves Monkey Ball. This is a little bit, um... This is indeed a video game. I mean, it's fun, it's okay. Nice. Perfect, you see? <laughs> oh, shit. Indeed. A Yakuza game. I've been thinking about Jagusa games and this year of streaming, and I think it's silly how I played every single mainline Jagusa game, well, except Dead Souls as a spin off game. And now this year I'm going to play every single spin off Jagusa game. Like, Isin is right here. Isin is a few weeks he from here. And then could come Kurokyo and both Judgment games. Jagusa is. Now, you want John Jagusa to play the last one. Which I don't even know how expensive they use the monkey ball. Let's say this one was um Control this oh never mind. Yeah, sometimes it's good. I mean it's a Sega game. Sometimes the Sega games is really good most of the time. That's something you need to give. This Jagusa game. You know, I disagree with you because as far as I know, there's no karaoke in this Jagusa game. As far as I know, there's no karaoke, so. Yeah, this is, I, I guess you, you can skip this one. <laughs> this is a, finally a Jagusa game worth skipping. No karaoke. <laughs> That's how we read Jagusa games now. Karaoke? Yes, you play. No? Out of here. Which I, I right now it's only, there's only two Jagusa games without karaoke. And it's the original two. And I guess Jasmine? Can you break? But yeah, see how this year I'm going to play all the spin of Jagusa games. Except Kensan because you know Kensan is um Yeah. What is this stage? <laughs> Kensan is you know Japan exclusive. Japanese Death? 
Wait. Oh. oh, you have continues. Oh, so this actual channel is not infinite. Oh, yeah, I gave up. Oh, no, my, you know, I died so hard that my controller died. <laughs> controller died. I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> this game is literally balls out. Oh, shit. I'm not really wondering why isn't this in a Yakuza game? Like, this is perfect for a Yakuza. I mean, you have AI eye and you have like me going all out of the speed limit. You know, breaking the the civic law. We don't, we don't need them. We don't care. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Okay, if you didn't realize yet, I'm not good at this game because I. It comes with never playing it the game. So it's fine. you can play with only one hand, okay? You, what you do with the other one is up to you. But you can play with one hand only. Okay, the rest is up to you. Imagination is your limit. But whatever you do, don't tell me. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> so, so this is baby mode? I wonder how... The, the last things I know they can get insane, and they're out of weird saves and such. Yeah, yeah, this game was originally an arcade game. So, I mean, this is the GameCube version of Super Monkey Ball. But uh, this I didn't know until recently, honestly. Monkey Ball is originally an arcade game. So I have no idea how you control this on an arcade. I guess you have a banana controller or something, like... One of these driving games. But it would be nice. It would be really nice. I mean, we've got Virtua Fighter and Puyo Puyo in 6. Which silly how Puyo Puyo is only in Yakuza 6 because, as far as I know, everyone in Japan loves Puyo Puyo. Maybe I'm wrong. But I know Puyo. Oh! There you go. On this <laughs> yeah, this is Kiryu's daily life. Well, at this point, Kiryu has experience with this. He's in the last one. She never played this, yeah. But it is only the same as favorite game because you go balls out. Also, check out that monkey. Check out those Pac Man eyes. Nice. Okay, guys, game is over. It was 9 coming back. I'm out of here. I had enough. Next mini game. Okay, bye. You see, bye, guys. Stream is over. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I will stream like the four hours I usually do recently. But uh, controller dead? Oh no, ready. Controller dead, by the way. He's playing with himself. Controller is absolutely dead. Okay, it's been a while now. Okay, there you go. You see? Inter interactivity on the credits. That's what I would really need. <laughs> nice. Okay, wait, I have negative 100 bananas. Okay, don't hit, don't hit the letters. <laughs> I have negative 100. Okay, the big depression of bananas. I lost everything. Can I skip this? Can I go to the next difficulty or something? <laughs> yeah, when this banana has to level up. Nice. Nice! Okay, let's hit the... I, I want to hit the G. What would be the completion list for this game? Like, beat every level? Get like one million bananas? Listen, if I want to get 1 million bananas, I'm gonna 100% Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> that will be here eventually. Everything that is pain and agony, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Mean. Eventually, I mean, I don't know. There's something I found out recently. 1 million more. 
<laughs> we need the bananas. You cannot eat bananas. Hey, can you eat bananas in a Jagusa game? Even it's like at the setting surprise or something. Maybe in Cafe Arts you can eat like a banana dessert or something. There's no banana hit action. Shit. We need a banana gun. How about Dana? I'll take a banana gun instead of a... eating a banana. Can, can I get out of here? Can I escape? I can't enough monkey balling. I want the next level. I, I, character designer. He used real monkeys to get AI. Stam Royale with. Hey! <laughs> but are bananas cannot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's canon as my get controller dying. Okay, so this is a fun base. I don't care if controller dying. Bananas are as canon as Jaguza 5. As canon as Dead Souls. <laughs> so I guess you play the full credits and you, you did it and then you get bananas. Listen, I don't know if you can get the cowboy out in this game. I just look at Monkey Ball Cowboy and it, I found that picture and that's it. This is probably one of the laziest thumbnails I've ever done. And there are some thumbnails in this channel that are just... something. Yeah, I think that could be the one <laughs> Oh, that's a classic one. That's some, that's a kid action that still come back. I think it's only four. <laughs> Can you get out of here? Like, seriously? <laughs> I just want the next level. Yeah, I hit the dot. Nice. Special songs. John Jakusa. This is a really weird Jakusa game, you know? Like. Listen, I'm not one to blame. Like. Every single game has a Campbell origin. This one is. Uh, uh, Nagoshi, there he is. That's Jakusa. That's, that's Jakusa man himself. That, that was John Jakusa himself. Your monkey level, brown tufted capuchin. What monkey is that? Oh, that's really cute, I think. I think that monkey is really, really cute. Oh, yeah, this is the class. This is, I think this is the one from, from Ace Ventura. Okay, nice. Okay, I see the monkey. That's a, that's a cute monkey. Listen, if, if the ranking was Barbary Macaque, I will shit my pants. Enter your name. Okay, you even entered the name with your shit. Okay, um, with control dying. <laughs> Listen, if there was a Barbary Magak, which that's the, the monkey of the profile picture, I would shit my balls. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Bri, okay, I'm better than Nagoshi, I'm better than John Jagusa himself, the true Jagusa. Mr. Jagusa, okay, that's it. Guys, game's over, I'm out. This game is from 2009. I was like... I was like 6 or so. Oh, the controller's dead. No, wait, 2009. Depends on the month. Like, I'm late. I'm really, really late in the year. I guess I, want, I was 5 at that time. Let's say I was 6 and that's it. Main game. Main game. Oh, what is competition mode? Okay, I have no friends. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess... Um, Mimi? I will go in canon. Am, am I? I mean... That's up to you. That's up to you to, wants to find the answer. I'm just going to say that... Um, who knows? Who know? It's up to your heart. It's up to your heart. Like, for me, it's... Let's say I never own a GameCube, okay? And um, let's leave it that way. And you're running. Okay, thank you. I mean, there are really cool games on the GameCube. I most of them have Nintendo games, of course, but I um, mean, you have Monkey Ball on the GameCube. You have Resident Evil 4. I mean, that was an exclusive. You even, dude, you had for a really, really long time the Resident Evil 1 remake on the GameCube exclusive. That's um, that's a really good game. 
And it's only on the baby's GameCube. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure there are some cool GameCube, GameCube games that are not Nintendo that um, I cannot think right now. I think there is a Tales of that everyone likes. Oh, I think Tales of Symphony is that a game? Okay, we're speedrunning Monkey Ball, by the way. You have Twin Snakes. Okay, you have Metal Gear Twin Snakes. If you, if you are into that, then yeah. If you want Metal Gear 1 but um, over the top, then that's up to you. Hello, dude. Hello, is that. I'm seriously thinking about GameCube games that are not Nintendo. There has to be there. As I said, you have Resident Evil, you have. Um, Metal Gear? No, can I just can I just die? There you go. Now we're speed running, monkey <laughs> ball. What is this stage? Okay, this this stage has physics. Okay. So this game is fun. This game is actually really enjoyable. Okay, maybe not now. <laughs> I don't know about now. Nice. Yeah, really cool, right? That looks like GameCube. St wait, wait, wait. Stamp tail macaque. Big tail macaque. Lion tail macaque. So those, those, those are the pair of your bananas. I mean... None of these are the Barbary macaque. If you want to spin those balls, yeah. <laughs> you know me. I mean, so there are actually macaques, so... I need like 800 bananas. Or well, 751. Hey, do you? Yeah, I'm saying, I say, and I say, and I say hi back to you, buddy. What's up? We're uh, going balls out. Oh, look at the monkey. Look at the monkey. <laughs> I mean, I, I have the, I mean, the monkey of this cell, the, of, well, the one of the profile pixels, is a Barbary Magag, and there was another monkey before that one, it was the Japanese Magag, because that was my favorite before finding out the Barbary. I really like the Japanese Magag, because they bath in the mountains. Yeah. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, wh why did you like that monkey? Um... He bath. <laughs> he bath in the mountain, that's it. One of the main reasons I just... Japanese Magak, there it is. There it is. So that's like... Okay, that's probably the highest scoring one because that's a Japan exclusive monkey. So of course the Japanese people like the Japanese monkey. I really like that one. It's white with the red face. So a few to be fair, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I will get a Macak rank, but hey. Especially when the controller dies. Think gameplay! Oh, shit! The reason because I switched from the Barbary Macak to, no, to the Japanese Macak to the Barbary Macak is because the, all, the, the only monkey living in Europe is the Barbary Macak. And it only lives in Gibraltar. Which, you know, that's... um. Gibraltar is funny because it's like... A little tiny piece on the south southwest of Spain, but it's England. It's in, it's English territory. <laughs> yeah, it's just hey. So the thing, I have I have monkeys really really close to me. What is coming to the screen? What is this stage? So the screen the screen is going funny. Can I just die? Okay, I choose death, get me out. I choose death, please. So the screen is doing like something weird. Death. But yeah, good old Barbary Macaque is like. It's over here.
Can I move? Oh wait, this... Oh shit! Okay, welcome to um, dying because probably I will breathe or something. Oh wait, you have baby mode or you have like card mode? You have legend mode. Okay, I guess this is where I will die. Okay, who wants to see the game over? Hey, I will probably my card. What? Ethan? What is this obsession, dude? Oh shit. Fallout, that's a game! I played that one! Yeah, but nobody really meets Fallout New Vegas. That game was really fun. Shit. Wait, can I be a... I guess I'll pick baby mode. Shit. Okay, welcome to dying. <laughs> I guess this is where I will talk about whatever. Because I mean, this is just death. What if I just gave up on life and I just become a prod? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, whatever. I, talk about, I, want to, I was talking about this. Yeah, the, for this channel, what they want to say. Uh. This year is this for this year is the spin of Jagusa games. <laughs> yeah, go for the baby balls, right? Yeah, sorry, fake monkey ball game. Fake monkey ball game. It's my first monkey ball. Okay, it's my first time playing with balls. Okay, just come on, be nice. I'm dying. Control F4, yeah. Let me let me press Control plus F4 on me on my GameCube. Okay, that was painful. That was painful. <laughs> How do you press that? This is a this is a real GameCube, dude. Trust me. Okay, time to die. Shit. Um. Yeah, I want to talk about this bullshit Jagus spin-off game. With balls to the mahai. Yeah, this game is fun. I mean, maybe it's not that fun if you watch me like die non-stop because I have... Yeah, listen. I'm not good. I think, I mean, there's, I think there's also monkey... Depending on the monkey you pick, the balls are bigger or smaller. That's also really important. And that makes the game harder or easier. That I know. You can pick different ball size. Enter your name. I don't wanna. What if I don't want to? The power button. <laughs> Print the button. you power button. Did you know? If you shut down your GameCube while the game is saving, you unlock everything. Oh. No way! No way! Can they go? Okay, the GameCube is just giving up. My my GameCube controller is giving up. Yes. My ultimate GameCube controller completely real. I mean, it has the X, Y, B, and A. So yeah, it's a GameCube controller. What if I pick... Gone Gone? Check out this pause. <laughs> Do not keep the GameCube. <laughs> okay, let's go for big balls, okay? This is, this is the character Sajima will pick, come on. This is Sajima's character. Oh shit, that's massive. That's what big... That's what big monkey. <laughs> and I keep forgetting what the bulls they want to say about the spin-off games I'm playing today. I mean, it's everything, yeah, I will play every spin of Jagusa game except Kensan. And next year is going to be the weird Jagusa games because you have... Shit. You know what I should do? I should play Kensan at some point. 
Dude, at this point, I, I should. Oh shit! Okay, shit. Ball sound. My ball, my balls fell off. I'm sorry. My balls fell off. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking of doing something bullshit. If I if I can get around here next, this is all I want to say. If I can get around next year, I promise that Jagus can stream. That's all I want to say. That's it. That was the whole point. Now I'm going. <laughs> I don't even know if the game is expensive or anything, but yeah. I mean, I guess it's... Maybe rare these days? But yeah, that's this random ass promise on this random ass game for today, the Monkey Ball game. <laughs> if I'm still here next year, I will stream Yakuza Kensan. There you go. Let me, let me choose, I choose there. Yeah, Kensan is Japan only, but the PS3 is region free. Also, just say a secret. Okay. My GameCube control keeps disconnecting. Kensan is um yeah, control is dead. Japan only, but PS3 it's region ex uh, it's not region log. But um. So you can get that Jagus against for your PS3 and play, don't you? I mean, in my case, European PS3. The thing is, the game could be in Japan, Japanese only, because it is what it is. I'm stuck right now. I mean, I read in everything, don't worry. I read everything, it's just. You know, I just try to say something. <laughs> And you know, I talk a lot, a lot of shit, and I just lose my mind. So I'm gonna just say this, like this random ass comment I wanted to do. If I'm here next year, I promise to Jagus again on stream. That's all I want to say. But no, as far as you know, you cannot take the timer. He's just spinning by himself. I mean, I mean, I'm also fighting the controller because today it's not in the mood to of working. Can I just die? Like this, this, this thing do something weird to the screen. My GameCube hates this this stage for some reason. Also, if you're giving me like real tips of Monkey Ball, I'm sorry, I never played this game. Like, I, I I'm not pretty sure what is going on. Ready? Yeah, this my totally real GameCube hates like whatever is going on, on the screen. Those are some weird noises. Those are really, really good noises, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, listen, let's try to beat this level. Let's go for ultimate baby mode. Okay, this is just an insult to my... to me. Dude, I'm reading. Also, I... It would be nice if you behave, dude. It's fine. Listen, I'm reading everything. You don't need to get mad. Yeah, I can answer everything because my brain is malfunctioning. Sometimes I want to say about some random bullshit. And sometimes I answer and just... What's up? Cry your ego. I mean, if you are good enough, you can get... You can get just... <laughs> something. Through monkey balls, players do uh, whatever. Are we going balls out? Like, this is the ultimate balls out game. Oh shit, we, we're jumping now. Boom! That's a remove mechanic from Yakuza. Okay, I'm almost dying. Nice! Yakuza jump. I mean, you can kinda jump on the Dragon Engine. Kinda, like, in, you know, in batting center and some places. You can just <laughs> jump to your death. And taking no damage. What is this stage? Oh, wait, they are moving with... Oh, physics! Okay, boys, we're playing Half-Life. Because physics are really important. 
I never played Half Life One. <laughs> I only played Half Life Two. Episode One, not even Episode Two. What? Can I just? Okay, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Yes. I mean the the beginner levels were kind of easy. I guess also you need to get the, the pieces of monkey bomb. Like, getting good in this game is insane. You can do a lot of crazy shit in here. Okay, also you can do like cool skips, but you can also be like a, a fake gamer and just go through the way. What a go bolsa. That's the core code of today. <laughs> Yet. So it's because I'm not playing with my A, my main. My main is I, I. <laughs> I like the name. You know what? I should, I should play Haruto later. Shit. Also. This is indeed. This is indeed a ball game. We ran out of balls. I'm... It's just the physics. I don't know if the character affects the physics because Gong Gong is like bigger. I don't know when everyone is speedrun the game, I think they use Baby. I mean, I want to play Baby because that's Haruto. Okay? That's the original Haruto. This is indeed a physics game. Well, physics game? Is it hard life? It's like monkey life. Okay, fuck me. Okay, I ran out of balls. I ran out of balls. Okay, never mind. I have like three more balls. I don't know where I got my third one, but yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Can I just... What if I just... Never mind. <laughs> okay, that was an accident. Yet. Dude, I cannot. The problem is this this ball is way too big. I need smaller balls, okay? I need smaller balls. <laughs> I'm surprised you even got that many. <laughs> Wait, can you put at? Why you three at S? I mean, you, we can just say balls out, and that's it. I mean, there's something I wanted to do. Yeah, this is probably the most important thing I wanted to say for today. I mean, it's important, quote unquote important. And is that um, I mean, the mood of a little trolling, oh, not practice mode. Okay, let's pick Haruto now. I mean, the mood of a little trolling. And what do you fuck you do me? Do you mean by that? <laughs> this. <laughs> Okay, good. Everybody gather around. I have like this stupid plan, like makes no sense. Also, the ball is the same. Wait, the balls do not the, like, the character says do nothing to the ball? Disappointing. So I do know that it's Jagusa Isin is coming out in a few weeks. You know, yeah, Samurai Jagusa. Balls out <laughs> Um I plan to do for this week. I mean I'm saying this test to not caught anyone by surprise. You know my what the hell just happened? There is this weird ass game called Way of the Samurai 4, which is basically like a weird Jagusa style game, I guess, to call it somehow, with side missions and content and some weird shit to do. I plan to stream that that game for these four days before the you know anniversary and call it Jagusa 1 stream. Love one. So I want to see if I can piece off someone. I want to see if someone can get in here, believe that he. I'm streaming Yakuza Isin and be like, this is not Yakuza Isin, this is shit. And like, prank it. So there's gonna be a little bit of trolling next <laughs> week. Just gets up. Remember, I don't have the early access of Isin. Like, it's like, it's like 80 bucks if you want the early access, so. That's not for me. That's not for me. 
If you want that, it's up to you. Nice. Baby's dead. Well, that's just pretty poor. <laughs> okay, the baby's four balls fell off. Yikes. <laughs> I wonder how much money did this, did this game make back in the day. You know these arcade, these arcade games that eat out of quarters? Especially fighting games. I wonder if this, was, this game was one of them. What that matters is balls out. Like if you're asking, yes, but the balls are out. You must play this game with your balls out, or you're playing the game wrong. That's that's that's it. That what that's what it is. That's what Sega intended. You, do you know why there are no more arcade monkey ball games anymore? You cannot play with your balls out. Sadly, that's uh, also uh, my GameCube controller is dead. My yeah, what is happening today? Balls out or with balls? <laughs> There's only one way to have your balls, and it's out. Also, at least I'm happy that the this uh, original control is dying on. Um... Nice, on this monkey ball game, and not in um, real Jagusa game. I mean, this is the real Jagusa game, by the way. It just... I get the spin of Jagusa game. This is what two Jagusas play. Shit. Wait, if you think about it, it's kind of funny how... Monkey Ball was probably one of the first big hits of Nagoshi. And then he made Jagusa, and then he put Monkey Ball in Jagusa with the... With the UFO catcher. And now Kiryu is playable in Monkey Ball. So it's like. It's indeed a situation. Also, I swear. I don't know if it's just. I don't know if it's my screen or it's also you can see it on the stream. Yeah, it's yeah, it's happening. The screen, the screen goes weird in this stage. I guess only Super Mario Sunshine has the rights of liquids. Okay, out of curiosity, what if I just hate my life? Okay, never mind. I, I'm not doing that. I am not. <laughs> Real Jaguza goes with their balls out. Take this out. Check out this. Check out this. This, this, is an, this is going to be an example of balls out. Take this out. Never mind. Hey! At least I tried. Okay, let's go baby mode. I mean, I just want to check out stuff on this game. Nice. What a challenge. What a, what a good challenge. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yet. Monkey. That's me. Well, that's also on the screen. Yeah, sadly, the monkeys. The mo this monkey's ball. I thought it was going to be smaller balls, but they are still really big, so. So, picking your, your character does nothing to your balls. Which I saw in the newer monkey balls, size changes. Ball chain, ball size changes. Nice. Burger cube. Oh shit, they have burger cube in here? 
Ya tiene el stage <risa> Ya tiene que me salir el visto Oh, ya gusta Ya, that's the thing This is the first Yakuza game Like, people think People say Oh, it's Yakuza one No, this is the true Yakuza one This is the true Yakuza zero Shit If you say Yakuza zero True fans of Yakuza Will think about this one Okay, the dime is... Okay, it was... It was early day. <laughs> Shit. Shit. There you go. Damn. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Remember, Jagus is not an RPG. <laughs> yeah, Jagus was an, uh, an RPG, but it was before a brawler. But first of all, the true origin is a board game. It's a boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ballsy game. <laughs> so I just listen, le left the physics to Half Life. I don't even know what's happening. Also, the right joystick does, no does nothing. You cannot move the camera. Okay, I'll take it. The movie. Oh, the Jaguza movie. I still need to watch that one. I still need to watch that Jaguza movie. Oh shit. Okay, we're going one. <laughs> I mean, better than doing a saber fight, if you know what I mean. Hideo kills in the movie. Wait, Hideo kills in the movie? Okay, now I really need to watch the movie. I need to see some. I need to see some killing. I need brain. I need some brain usage in this day. I mean, that wonderful gentleman told me that what did here live on on YouTube? Like, I mean, it could be a fun idea. But then again, I don't know if someone really wants to be here. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, he told me the full movie is on YouTube, and it's on YouTube. Like, I checked. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch the movie. But hey. So it's like, everyone can watch it. Whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I would sit in here for one hour, 30 minutes, and be like, dude, it's Jagusa movie. I'm just watching the movie by making silly, silly comments like, Haha, kill you kill! Kill you kill for me! Can I just move? What is happening? No! Ready? Majima watching with the blind side. <laughs> now that's just. Listen, that's not a mistake. That was how powerful Majima is. That's the true power of Majima. <laughs> that's not like a really interesting movie to watch. Just to have some fun. Also, I guess I, I made my match. Okay, let me try... No, not party games. I want to play the, the same level with the other character. And then I will take out other things, I guess. Meme. Yeah. I must skilled with his blind. I mean... That's not fake. Like at this point, you will you will believe that Majima can sense Kiryu, like in a five kilometers distance. Like, do you remember the Majima radar in Yakuza Kiwami? Majima has the same, but like times one hundred for Kiryu. Yeah, these girls' monkey balls are still the same. He can sense Kiryu, he can smell Kiryu. He can be Kiryu if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, I guess I watched it at some point. I guess. I mean, it just... Who's stopping me? Are you not gonna play Jack the Six too? Uh, okay, the topic. Uh, sadly, listen, this is something I say all the time. I mean, sadly, call it whatever you want. Um, This channel just, I mean, grew. Call it cover this grow up uh, having people here. Right at the end of the Jagusa main main games. That is a reality. So Jagusa 6 is already on this channel. It was a, 
I mean, I want to go back to Yakuza 6 eventually. Because I want to 100% Yakuza 6. Why? I don't know. I did the game dirty. It was a situation because I was playing Dead Souls. My PS3 died. So I just say, okay, let's play Dead. Let's play Yakuza 6. But then I got my PS2. A, a friend lent me his PS3. So I played Dead Souls. And Yakuza 6 was just a Monday game. So I only played 6 for Mondays. And then when I beat Dead Souls, I also played Red Dead Redemption. And still, Yakuza 6 was only on Mondays. So I did the game dirty. Plus, plus, I played it on my old PC. So I played the game like looking like really, really bad. And with the game struggling for 30 FPS sometimes. Dude, I love Yakuza 3. No, no, no, I mean, listen, Abdul, I mean, I appreciate that, I mean, I appreciate you guys want me to check out some games, but Yakuza, the main, like, Yakuza from 1 to 6, including Zero and the remakes and Dead Souls are already on this channel. The only one left is, um, 7. Also, Red Dead Redemption is also on this channel. <laughs> I played that one after Dead Souls. It was, it, I used my PS3, well, it was my friend's PS3. I played Dead Souls, Red Dead Redemption. I also played Red Dead Redemption and the Nightmare. Take this. I played for the first time in my life the zombie DLC of Red Dead Redemption, which it, it was awesome, by the way. It was sick. Then I also played the worst run of Demon's Souls I did in my entire life, like the worst one by far. I would like to put in here Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point because I never played Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah, I mean, I want to put GD4 here. So it's good. The finishing too. Nice. I mean, it's interesting because, um, one is a sequel of the second one. It's weird. Also, Majima with a shotgun in Yakuza 1. What the fuck is that movie? But yeah, GD4 will be here eventually. Okay, now we really need to watch that movie. Um, GTA 4, I mean... Um, okay, I guess... Okay, check this out. I'm gonna say something I never said before. They said what I want to do. Like, right now, this, I'm doing what I call the Yakuza Marathon. This is just a bonus game that I just was in the mood to play. Because I never played Monkey Ball. This is the... One of the... Like, the first big hit of the Yakuza director. So that's why we are jumping with Balls Out and the original Yakuza game. Then February 10th, like February, it's the, um, um, it's one year, okay, baby mode, I don't care. One year since I started streaming for the first time, or well, well, first time, it wasn't really my first live stream, but um, it was when I started to stream daily, from Monday to Friday, with some Saturdays in between. So the, I, want, I want to do a, a rerun of Yagusa 1. Like the OG, because that's the one that I, I started with. Mainly, not because of the anniversary alone, it's also because I couldn't fight Amon. Because in Yakuza 1, you can miss up stories forever. Like in that one, just like you can just miss a sub story and it's gone forever. There's no way to do it again. The only way is restart the game and start a new save file. So I didn't know about that. And that was, that was awful. So that's also one of the main reasons I want to go back to Yakuza 1. Then, of course, Easing will be here. I mean, a 100% run of Easing. I mean, not a 100% run, a Platinum run. I'm going to Platinum Easing here. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. I mean... Yeah, as soon as I... As I said, as, as always said, as soon as I have access to Easing, I'm gonna Platinum the game. It's, it's going to be long, it's going to be painful. After this, it's the, re the rerun of Yakuza 2. To fight Amon, because in Yakuza 2, I did some stupid shit with the save file, and I couldn't fight Amon. So I want to rerun Yakuza 2. OG Yakuza 2, of course. And then after Yakuza 2, is technically... Um, the new generation. I mean, the new generation is technically with easing with the spin-off game. <laughs> Or Yakuza game, yeah. You can also miss a sub story, a sub story in two. Like remember in Yakuza, in, well, it's in Kiwami too. 
You need to get a Mayong tile to get into the Mayong parlor. In Kiwamitsu, you cannot miss that one. In the OG, in the OG Jagunsachu, you can choose to fight the guy at the door, at the entrance, and that locks you out of the sub story. But I also read stuff that I, because here's the thing: if you look for info of the OG Jagusa games, you will find people talking about Kiwami. Well, that's that's not what you're looking for. So I remember looking for how to fight Amon in the OG Jagusa too. Um, I read something that you need to do every sub story. You need to do every hit action, which by the way you can miss hit actions because in the OG Jagusa too. There are some level exclusive hit actions that you can only do in in some long fights. So that's awful. And then you need to beat Michael Jackson in the Coliseum. Um, Ma Michael Jackson is Akira Yamaoka, by the way. So you need to do all that and then you can trigger the Amon fight. So, I mean, I will make sure before that happens. And I'll make sure that, that I can do it. After all that bullshit, I want to... Um, because you know, after Platinum Mission, I want to take um, a small rest of Jagusa games, and I want to take out. I want to play Sekiro, which Tangle Spartan Kiki Taxon. Yeah, yeah. There's a few one that in Jag in that you can miss. Like there is one I did in accident in the OG Jagusa too. That um, when you are in the, um, I think it was the Toyo, the Toyo Clan home. He used like two kicks. To smash a guy's face into a wall, I think. Like, oh, for, for example, the team attack, like, I'm pretty sure there's a point that if you miss your hit action with Kaoru, you're gone. Unless those counts as, um, these generic team attack hit actions, which I have no idea. I will make sure that happens. I mean, I make sure to have a guide or something like that to go safe. Yes. And, you know, after Jagusa 2, I mean, that's after easy. I want to rest a little tiny bit of, Yaku of Yakuzin and just play Sekiro because I love that. <laughs> Remember, I was supposed to play Sekiro instead of Yakuza 5. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just, I changed my mind and you know what happened. You know what happened in Yakuza 5. <laughs> uh, so, and after Sekiro, which I guess it shouldn't be that long. Like, I know Sekiro, I love Sekiro. So I, I know a few things. It's GTA 4. Which, I um, mean... Base GTA 4, I don't know if uh, Lost and Dam and Ballad of Gate Tony are worth playing. I have no idea because my knowledge of GTA 4 is really, really small. I have them, by the way. Steam only allows you to buy them. The complete edition. And yes, I already, I already have GTA 4 because it was on sale. I was like, this is still. <laughs> After GTA 4, which, I mean, I guess that take a little bit, maybe. I'm going for Kurohio. Yeah, after GTA 4 is the PSP season, <laughs> but I, that shit I got, I said. Which is basically Kurokyu. Then I want to check out Patapo. <laughs> and then after Patapo is Kurokyu 2. And then I guess Kurokyu 2, Patapo 2 or maybe 3. Yeah. Well, and then, and then of course after the Kurokyu games, maybe I'll play something. Shit. Maybe I'll play something that is not Yakuza, and after that game, if I, I even play that game, it's Judgment. We're gonna judge people. Which, then again, I don't know nothing of Judgment. What is this stage? Why are they racing? So, I mean, that's the idea of the scene right now. It might change. There might be some stuff happening in between. Like me fucking up out of nowhere and just giving up on life. <laughs> And, you know, but it, pretty soon, just by that, I have, like, yeah, I have the gear kind of set, I think. Mostly because Platinum Mace is going to think one, probably will take one full month. I take out a 100% run of Yagusa 4, it was, like, 33 parts, I think. That's 100% Yagusa 4. Easing will take longer. Pretty sweet will take longer. And then, you know, pretty sweet, uh, I mean, Sekiro... Sekiro is really not that long. Okay, yes. I don't know what... The, I don't know why I did that. 
As I said, I don't know if I will do every single boss in Sekiro. Just, okay, just go forward and just slash. Kill. Shit. GTA 4 will probably take us some time. I mean... I don't know how much side content are in GTA 4. As I said, um... GTA 4 is kind of an unknown game for me. Like, really unknown. My only real memory in that game is... Shooting people in the hospital. <laughs> I have a physical copy of GTA 4, by the way, for PC. I, I, I have a physical copy of GTA 4 for PC with the Games for Windows Live logo, which that doesn't exist anymore. That is gone. <laughs> okay, I choose, to, I choose to die. Yeah, I mean, after that is done. I mean, if you want to check out those games with me, you know where to find me. I mean, you know what time I stream. And so, I always put up pre stream, like one hour or two hours before that. If you guys had enough of me, like, have a good one, dude. Because I'm pretty sure, like, of the people that get in here, pretty sure not, not everyone will want to see Isin because they want to play Isin by themselves, which I completely understand that. We're underwater now. Like, it's going to be weird because... I mean, weird. When it comes to the... Let's say about channel growth or how many people will want to see Isin, like... People will want to play Isin. I mean, pretty sure you guys want to play Isin more than see Isin or watch Isin. We've been, we've been waiting that game for nine years. That's almost... Ten years... But yeah, I mean, if you want to watch that game with me, I mean, it's <laughs> that's not a thing. It's not like if you get in here for whatever reason to watch Easing with me, we're going to do our completion list. I mean, if I go in the first play, okay. okay, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, and also in case if, if you really want to check out the Easing in this channel with Cowboy Macaque himself, <laughs> there's also the thing that. Pretty sure there's going to be a 100% achievement, a 100% completion list. So that means that at some point I will have to sit my ass down and do mini games or do some stupid grinding. So that means that it's not going to be fun because I know the spoker. Like for some reason the spoker in the samurai days. For reason I'll play it when I when I get this way anyway. Nice. That's also the thing. Like I'd rather not get the spoil, but for some reason I don't really care either. Oh shit. But yeah, I mean, if you guys really get in here to to, to check out this thing with me, as I said, as if there really is a 100% completion on this achievement, that's gonna be something. Golden Ring, yeah. That Elden Ring, Elden Ring is another game I would like to get in here. I mean, two really, really long games I would like to get in here are Elden Ring and Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, I don't know if I'll do it. I mean, Elden Ring should be fun. Like, just walk around, whatever. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, you know how I played Red Dead Redemption 1. <laughs> That's not going to be different for Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, going back to Isin, um, 100% run means uh, sit your ass down, play some minigames. So, yeah, no sub stories, no anything, just. Let's play some Mahjong, boys. It is what it is. It's inexpensive. Uh, it's 60 euros. I mean, I don't know about you. I mean, I'm, I'm in Europe, so it's euros. It's 60. I mean, it's 60, and if you want the... Um, the limited edition, it's 80. Like, yikes. Which I absolutely didn't get. Like, I don't care about the early access. This always I always say like if you think that game is the special edition is worth 60 bucks with whatever it includes. Nice one, nice one. Sure, I mean it, as far as you know it gives you a few upgrades, like you know. It gives you a few upgrades, it gives you a it gives you Kirus outfit, like the grey suit from Jagusa games. Those are in the um, that's what you get with the deluxe edition. And you get early access like four days before the game releases or three days, so yeah. 
sweaty naked man fight in Isin. That's also in Yagusa 5. That's also in Yagusa 5. With Shinada. Samurai Bo. <laughs> hey, Sayu is in there. That's also... Listen, this is the thing that got me the most excitement about when it comes to Isin. Everyone is there. Like, it's a crossover game. That's what really gets me into Isin. We're going to have Ryu... This... I've seen a trailer, like this was the trailers. Did you see Akiyama fighting Ryuji with swords? Like what the fuck? That's one of the few things out of the main story. So everyone is there, that's going to be awesome. And now you have like Yakuza Zero people and like a dragon, like you have Ichi man, like shit dude. I want I want to see everyone. I want to see everyone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. I mean, I hope they're going to be fun. I really doubt they pull out a Yagusa 5 on me. <laughs> I really doubt. But, okay, I'm, I'm still going to play for a little bit more, so Abdul. Maybe, you, maybe you're going to hear a few more, maybe. And for new character, yeah. Yeah, that's, obviously, that's something I read that people got mad. Like, they removed, like... Original character, I don't know if they were actors, like, as far as I know. Let's ask him. Yeah, I mean, I want to check out the, the, the expert difficulty and maybe check out the mini games. I'm just checking out the game. So, yeah. Like, as soon as I get, I get... Okay, let's check out the expert difficulty because I'm dead now. Um, In Yakuza Isin, I don't know if... You, they, they have, like, real actors. Like, you know, in Yakuza 6, you have Takeshi Kitano. Zero. That's that's like the game. You got to get Gitano in zero, so no, in, not in zero, in six. So I don't know if in this you have like popular actors or they are just Aussie characters. I know they just happen to be like Adachi or something. But they, I mean, I never played this in, so my main. Okay, let, now this actually is happening, I guess. I would mean it, yeah, thank god. I really hope to find me on a rooftop. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, as I said about this in um You what you rather play the game by yourself? Awesome dude. I hope you really enjoy this in. I I hope everyone really enjoys this in. That's a bummer, yeah. I mean we lose um I guess we, it's the thing, we lose some Aussie, really cool Aussie characters for replacements from other games. I'm gonna guess they are the same. Because for example, if Ryuji is in the game, how much real Ryuji is in that Ryuji? I mean, I'm gonna guess it's still Ryuji, but uh, Samurai style? See, okay, but let's go baby mode. My balls are way too small for this. Well, rather be, rather, I guess, I guess my boss are really big for that ramp or whatever. <laughs> big balls, yeah. Shit. Okay, still. Who's that? Shit? Well, whatever what you wanna say. Um, if you want to play it by yourself, awesome. I hope you really enjoy it. You want to check out easy with other dudes? Like, awesome, dude. I hope you have fun. Like, as I always say, the member. The, there's people that are going to be playing uh, early, they're going to be streaming early access of Isin, most likely. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. Or good pal, uh, what the hell is this stage? Oh. Okay, I'm dead. Like, probably the, the most popular YouTuber, Yagusa um, YouTuber, Devil Leon. Um, Ready is going to stream uh, Isin with early access, if that's if you can do that, of course. Ready? So you can check him out, or maybe you can... Ready is there's maybe even non jagus streamer that's going to check out um, going to check out Isin. And of course, as I said, if you really want to check out Isin with me, then um, be warned, it's a platinum run. So... I hope you like some koi koi when, it, when, times, when time comes. <laughs> Ready? That's it, that's all I want to say. Whatever you do, I hope you enjoy it. Sin. I really hope you enjoy it. Sin. By the way, it's not called Jagus anymore, it's called like a dragon. 
it's called like a dragon, excuse me. <laughs> Remove the pot from that one file. Listen, I know nothing of this. I know nothing of the Yakuza, of the Samurai games. Like, maybe I can remember a few hit actions. Wait, do you want me to jump? Shit. All I know is, um... Just like... I remember hit actions from those games. I, I'm, go I'm going to play those, those games blind. Well, easy. Ken-san, as I said, I... I like to play Ken-san next year if I'm still hanging around here with all these random bullshit games I play. But, you know, I'll try. I'll try to get Ken-san here. That's an excuse. Then John Jack is You're lying, dude. <laughs> yeah. His name is Ai Ai. <laughs> you're, you're watching him right now. This is... <laughs> this is true, true kid, you. <laughs> okay, expert mode is breaking my balls, by the way. Ready? <laughs> it's gonna be really funny when Isin comes out and everyone say, I know Kiryu's name is Sakamoto Ryoma, I think. He's going to still be Kiryu. Like, you know that. He's still going to be Kiryu. <laughs> I know. He's Sakamoto Ryoma. He fucking Kiryu. Shut up. But hey. We're going to play the, the ultimate Whip Yakuza game. Finally. The games are worth the game. It only took nine years. And as far as I know, uh, the success of Ghost of Tsushima also helped to to localize Isin, which I think is stupid. Like, what, you think gay games don't like samurais? Like, what? But they... Here is Sakamoto Ryo. <laughs> Yeah, they know, like, as far as I know, the, the Isin, the, at least Isin, I don't know about Kensan, they are real historical, historical Japanese events, as far as I know. With real historical figures like Kenny Omega, like, you know? Remember that legendary samurai, Kenny Omega? Yeah, that I know, I mean, I, I think it's about the end of the samurai of Isin. As I said, I'm so, I'm so, I know nothing of the Samurai games, like, n nothing. I'm going blind. Oh, everything that is in my head right now, listen, I'm gonna tell you everything I know about this thing. You have a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's something I know for the original, you have a gun and a sword. <laughs> and Kenny Omega is in the game. <laughs> that's it. I... Don't need to know anything else. Japan Pro Wrestling. They should sure are, dude. Remember, the, you have like New Japan Pro Wrestlers in Yakuza 6 and Kiwami too. Remember they give you clan from Yakuza 6? These uh, these bad guys with the Rainmaker. Those are wrestlers. Those are real wrestlers for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Those are real ja those are real wrestlers. And then they show up in the Kiwami 2 Coliseum. Which in the Majima construction bullshit, um, as far as I know, the bad guys are also Japanese wrestlers. Real ones. That's really cool. That's really cool. Super <laughs> Kaja. Kenny Omega is insane. He's been wrestling for years. I mean, I don't know how old Kenny Omega is. I don't know, I guess he's 30 something, I guess. But as far as I know, he's been like wrestling for a really, really long time. Like a, a many, many veterans. And he's really good. Like the things I've seen about him is really good. And he has the charisma, like inside the ring and outside the ring. I know he was big in. in AEW, which I never watched because you know, as I always say, I have here. There's nothing. There's no real channel to watch. To watch uh, wrestling. So hello, less. 
pues sables. <laughs> like, right now, like, probably, probably also in every country or something. The best way to watch wrestling, like WWE or early wrestling, it's a um, subscription. No, me, I take the time of when the Royal Rumble started, when you tell me. Uh, it was 1 a.m. for me, which that was a big no-no. Like, sadly, my life goes to the point that 1 a.m., it's tough. I mean, I can do it. Like, you have the Kiwami to stream that I stream for nine hours straight, like, without breaks. That was like, yeah. I can do it, but, yeah, 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, sadly, for me, that, those times are a little far away. I mean, I can do it with some effort, but sadly, just, uh Special guest. I mean, you for the trooper cards. I mean, as far as you know, some of them, like, the, the trooper card is just. When I read about the trooper cards for the first time, I thought it was like you summon a friend and he fights with you. But no, it's just a special move. Like, I know that Kenny Omega just do like a 360 slash. But that was a little bit disappointing. Something was What happened in the Royal Rumble? Okay, who won the Royal Rumble? That's the most important thing. John Cena? <laughs> it was John Cena? No, he's not fighting anymore, that I know. John is not with us anymore. Cody Rhodes. Wow. Cody Rhodes. Okay, I'm gonna try... Um, I'm gonna try Expert One again. Because I'm... Why not? I mean, this is Monkey Ball. What do you expect? And then we just take out other things, I guess. Thanos almost of the Western. Wombra. That's a man, that's many. Mm, average, I'm pretty sure your average Royal Rumble. The winner is always in the last place or some of them. I mean not always, like I cannot think one right now. But most of the time when it's 25th or something, he usually wins the Royal Rumble. As I said, there are exceptions, but usually the last one is the one that wins. Monkey Ball. No, today is Monkey Ball. Okay, listen. <laughs> this is just. Uh, I was in the mood to check out Monkey Ball. Also, hey, Dopio. What's up? I, okay, let's check out this game and that's it. Um, most likely tomorrow I will be gone. Next week, I will do a little bit of trolling. Do you know what I mean? I will. I will do a little bit of trolling. Let's say, uh, Dopio, let's say that I got the ultra air reactions of like a Dragonism. Let's just say that, okay? Let's just say that. <laughs> 100% real. A 100% real early access of this scene, I swear. It's real. Trust me. Trust me, dude. Will I ever lie to you? <laughs> Wait, it's gonna be for days. The Friday, as I said, is February... February... The face can real. Dude, as I always said, I cannot give you a face cam. I can... I my setup is so shit that I cannot give you a face cam. I can give you a body cam. Listen up. I'm gonna show you. Okay, you know what, Paco? Where is MS Paint? <laughs> Where is MS Paint? <laughs> I'm going to show you how bad I can draw. I'm going to show you my shitty setup. Uh, how do I do this? MS Paint Trivia! <laughs> oh shit! Paint? No fucking way! That's... Oh shit, that's, that's you guys. That was you guys! Did you see yourself? That was you! Um... Okay, give me a second. <laughs> okay, um... I cannot draw. Okay, but let's do this thing. Okay, this, this is point of view, okay? Point of view. Color. Um... I cannot draw. Okay, let's say a uh, corner. Wall. Floor. Whatever. This is fucking bullshit. Okay. There's a window here. Okay. Do you know what a window is? <laughs> That's a window. Oh, anyway, this is desk. Okay, let's put desk here. Remember, this is point of view. This is point of view. Okay, give me blue. 
Um, as I always said, I have a bed around here. This is my bed. <laughs> nice drawing skills, buddy. <laughs> Among us. Among us. <laughs> oh, shit, that's a big dumpy. That's Olimar. That, how do you play Pikmin? That's Olimar. That's Captain Olimar from Pikmin. <laughs> okay, listen up. This is my bed. This is where I sleep. Yes, I sleep. I know it doesn't sound normal and... This is so bad. Dude. This was a terrible idea. Okay, this is the desk. <laughs> no, this is my window. Dude, this is my window. I have a window here. I can see outside. I can see some grass. I mean, I don't touch the grass, but I can see the grass, you know? I can see grass, but I don't touch it. I don't. I, I think it's scary. Nice. That's the sun. It burns my skin. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. <laughs> no. My PC is here on the floor. PC. Okay, PC. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> so the, the mouse and keyboard are on my bed. The mouse and keyboard on my bed. <laughs> now I have a, this 2006 TV. It's a 2006 TV. And this is what I want to see it. You guys are here, by the way. This is you. And this is a monkey. Monkey game. That's AI. <laughs> what a fucking shitty draw. <laughs> I cannot draw. Did you know? I cannot draw. So this is, I'm watching from here. Okay, let's remove all this bullshit. This is the setup. Like, I'm on diagonal watching a TV on the corner with my mouse and keyboard on the bed. Where's my GameCube? Oh, that's right, that's right. In this case, in this specific case, I have a GameCube right here. That's a GameCube, right? That's that's a GameCube. You ever see one? <laughs> yeah, CG. <laughs> the GameCube. GT. <laughs> my completely real unlegit GameCube with the controller. This is the controller, right? That's some weird ass dog. <laughs> That's some weird ass dog. This is my setup. And did you know when I. <laughs> dude, dude, I play Monkey Balls. We are tame. I'm drawing on MS Paint. And now everyone is here. <laughs> everyone is talking. <laughs> <laughs> So check this out, when I... This is the setup, yeah, the keyboard bed, the PC on the corner, by the way, this is one of those things that you have, like... I open this, like, there's like a handle here, and this opens. This is full of VHS when I was a kid. Like, if I open this... <laughs> hey, this is the setup reveal, I'm doing the setup reveal with MS Paint, I do. If I open this, I beat the PC, I cannot open this. This is full of VHS. <laughs> of, of when I was a kid. <laughs> so I cannot open this. <laughs> so check this out. Okay. Um, when I play, when I stream PS3, and when I will do the um, Yakuza 2 anniversary stream, which it, it, Yakuza 1 will be on a real PS2, like, you know, re you know, remember the PS2? PS2 will be here. And right here, like, in this place, like, what a city drone way. Everything that is going on here, okay. So, we need a uh, green, like if it was grass. This is the, mo the thing closer to grass. Okay, let's... What about uh, purple? Yeah. There is like... Over here, there are so many cables. Because I have the capture card. I have like RCS... RC... <laughs> RCB to whatever. To, to capture the PS2. It's insane. Like, there's so many cables here. And then I will have the PS2 like around here. And like here. I'm watching here. Remember, this is point of view. This is point of view. And <laughs> what a fucking setup, dude! And I've been doing this for one year. Insane. Every listen, cool, cool, cool streamers are like, dude. I have, I have this light key. Also, to make keyboard. It's like, do you know this? It's a Mars Gaming. What the fuck is Mars Gaming? I think I got this keyboard in two thousand and six. <laughs> do you know why I got this keyboard? Because it was the cheapest one! <laughs> oh wait, Ma Mars Gaming can be with lights? Nice. 
Like, I got this one in, because it was the cheapest one. Mouse, uh, sadly, many of my mouse uh, passed away because, as I said, uh, this is the bed. By the way, this is the mouse. This is the mouse. Sometimes, because like the disgusting human being I am, the mouse fell from the bed. Uh, sometimes the mouse can survive one fall. Sometimes it can survive two falls. Um, sometimes they just die. Like, I think that I come over here like three or four kids. <laughs> no. But I mean, by the way, all these, all the, the, the dead mouses, the most expensive one, I think it was like four euros. Yeah. The one I got is like 20. Because I was like, listen, I'm so tired of my mouse fucking dying at, at, at just breaking a teeth. I need something. <laughs> I need something that at least if it falls, it can endure the heat. This, this thing, what even are you? What even are you? Neon M10? Is that a, a model or something? Listen, it's made in China, okay? Those, those, those, that's something. That's something. So this thing endured the kids. Uh, yeah. This is the setup. Made in Kamurochi. It's Yagusa one next. Uh, Friday. I mean, next Friday is Yagusa one. Ne but the, from Monday to Thursday, I will do a little bit of trolling trend. I will do a little bit of trolling. Now, now, now this is the setup reveal. <laughs> oh, dude. What a fucking setup, dude. I mean, I could take a picture, but I think that's way too much. And if I have a face cam, I think there's nothing really... Probably the coolest thing I can show with the face cam, I mean, if you guys are really in into it. I have a lot of Bionicles when I was a kid. Fuck, dream face. <laughs> okay, calm down, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Trent, Isin will be here as soon as I have access, and it's going to be a platinum run. I'm going to platinum missing trend. Now, if that's good or bad, it's up to you. Okay, the choice is yours. For me, it's going to be a platinum run. But, um, I mean, I don't know if you guys are into Bionic, because I know internet likes them. I mean, I've seen a lot of people they're going like, yeah, fuck yeah, Bionic, like, I love them as a kid. I have a lot of them around here. I will have the movie. Arts <laughs> yeah, dude. I did an Among Us. Check out this Among Us. Dude, this Among Us looks like he has like some kind of disease around here. <laughs> there is a disease. Oh shit, what the hell is happening? Ah, oh, that's my desktop. Hey, check out desktop, desktop reveal. How did that even happen? That's my desktop. How did that even happen? <laughs> How did that even happen? Where's my desktop somewhere? I just saw him paint. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you guys are, uh, that, be, that has been my, desk, my desktop for seven years. Nice, dude. Really nice. I mean, there's nothing really a spoiler here. Just so, yeah. I really like this pixel, by the way. I really, really do. Winra, Winra reveal! <laughs> yeah, boys, I use Winra! Yeah! Also, why is Opera here? I mean, Opera is here, but they never use Opera. It's just there because... When I did this PC, my friend was like, yeah, dude, uh, here, have Opera. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> why the hell not? The guys are history. Hey, hey, hey, hey, listen. I can do it, but I, uh, let's say I, I know that trick about um, control shift and P, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Or, you know, maybe you are one of those other guys that do uh, shift control N. That's up to you. That's up to you, okay? <laughs> hey, check out my room! Boys, my room is right here! Holy shit! Oh, this reveal, maybe. Yeah, let me dust myself. Let me let me dust myself. 
Okay, so yeah, I guess this is... I guess this, this is it. I don't know how the desktop reveal happened, but uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> desktop has, has been revealed. Yeah, check out this. Listen, every single cool stream is like, dude, I have this neon keyboard. I have this shit. I have this shit. And I'm like, dude, I use my bed as a, key, as a desk for the mouse and keyboard. And uh, my keyboard is from... It's like it, it's six years old now. It's old. It's full of smegma and shit. My mouse is like the fifth one because everyone died because it fell from the bed. Well, I have something for, from the cool streamers. I have like a gaming chair, you know? I have like a real gaming chair. Like, damn. Like, yeah, take out this cool gaming chair. I mean, do you know, I have this cool gaming chair because it's my brother's. <laughs> like... The, oh, I mean, I, I appreciate you guys thinking about that about me. I said, I really, I'm, I'm a really negative guy. Like, I just, I never thought I would have people like this on my stream. They've been kind to me and saying thanks. But I have this gaming chair because it was my brother's. That's, he moved out. He moved out. My chair broke, and he was like, "Okay, you can take it. I don't care." And this is my chair now. And let me tell you, I don't like it. Like, I really don't. I used to. My my chair was this um this generic office chairs. Like, you know these ones. They had like this, the, the ring, and they're like... Generic chairs. Like, yeah, dude, that's a chair, all right? I like this one. This one, I like this one. Thumbs down. <laughs> Check out the thumbs down. <laughs> that's probably the only gamer thing. I mean, my PC is kind of... I mean, I don't like to talk about this PC, but yeah, this is the... Um, I work, okay? I work for this PC. Let's say that. But yeah, I mean, that's it. Oh yeah, I mean, what more can I say? I mean, this... Every single streamer is like, dude, I have these two monitors. I have three monitors. One only for the chat. I mean... As I said, like, let me, let me do a new one. Yeah. No guardar. Like, everyone... You, everyone's like, dude, you have the screen here with the game. Then you have the, the chat over here. And then you have another screen here. Like, damn. I, and I'm like... Big 2006 TV. Okay, let's do let's do it a bit of sponsorship. There you go. It's LG, okay? It's LG. I have a 2006 LG TV. It was a this was a gift for my parents, by the way. Neon rooms, I don't know about Yeah, I don't like neon keyboards. I think it's really uncomfortable. I have a friend with a neon keyboard, I really don't like it. And they are some really clickety, like and like no no, let's quiet but yeah this is this is my setup like oh you have like the chat over here like oh pokers you have the full game and then you have everything obvious here and then like 2000 tb like you guys are here by the way you guys are here <laughs> this is you <laughs> and this is this is the entire game by the way everything else is the game <laughs> i don't i don't even watch it obvious I'm not even watching over yet. I don't even know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> you can game on it, but yeah, I mean, listen, this PC, it's um, as I said, I work for this PC. Let's say that, okay. I really don't like to show off. I don't like. I don't like to. I'm not one of those guys. Yeah, take this. I have the ultimate bullshit. I have the the latest thing. I really don't like that. But um, I work for this PC. Like, let's say that. Let's say. Let's say this PC can now run. Resident Evil 4 Remake, which I will play. I mean, I probably most likely upon the stream the game, but I will I will play it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is the setup. Like, right now, um, you see, you have here, and uh, this is Kiryu kicking. Yeah, big Kiryu. That's Kiryu. That's John Jagusa himself, and he's kicking, uh, well, yeah, um, nasty dudes. <laughs> That's a dude! <laughs> Yeah, dude. You see? Now you're playing Yakuza. Yakuza. <laughs> Yo, it is... What the fuck is there? What the fuck is Spanish setup? Yeah, dude, let me pick, uh, pick the tamaño and the... Um, uh, what is this? Borrador. Wait, can you even see that? If I do this thing? Lapid. Hey, I guess you can see that. Yeah, but this is, um... Yeah, setup reveal, boys. Setup reveal. 
Damn. Well, this was an exception with the video game. When I played Fallout New Vegas and I did the anniversary stream for Skyrim, uh, the game was this. <laughs> it was Fallout. Fallout. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite game, Fowl. Spinning board reveal. Oh, later, dude. Later. <laughs> when is the board reveal? Listen. I need to talk to Pornhub, okay? If you can do live streams on Pornhub, let's say um, something will happen, okay? If I can. <laughs> let's wait for the, for the, for the Pornhub sponsorship, okay? Listen, I have three, I have two dream sponsorships. One is McDonald's, okay? I mean, we need the McDonald's sponsorship. We need Pornhub here. <laughs> we need fucking Pornhub. <laughs> okay, I think this is enough. Okay, but yeah, this was a uh, follow-up question like this. And as I checked, um, take it off will be like this. I mean, for you guys, it looks fine. That's the thing. Which... There is a trick, like you can do the with OBS, you can just open what you guys are watching and you can make it bigger. Right, so <laughs> yeah, that's an expert that uh, I'm not very fond of. <laughs> Box monitor. <laughs> hey guys, here's Raid Shadow Legend with my new champion. Come fuck. The gnomes caca. With his with his passive ability, balls out, he will fall off of the stage. <laughs> balls out. <laughs> okay, can I go back to the monkey ball now? Can I go, can I go back to monkey ball? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Jagusa. Dude, yo, Jagusa. On my <laughs> yo, Jagusa, my race of legends. <laughs> Dude, I, I still cannot believe there are barely any Jagusa crossovers in games. Like, the last ones is Rainbow Six. Like, the last fucking... The, the last crossover of Jagusa games is fucking Rainbow Six Siege. With Kiryu, Majima, and Kaoru. Kaoru. Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Holy shit. What a cool setup. Do you know what the worst part of this was? Um, when I don't know about you guys, I'm the only one left available for Rainbow Six. <laughs> that was funny. Still. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching, dude. Have a nice day. Remember, have, have a nice day. Have a nice. Well, have a nice week or weekend. Like I won't be here tomorrow. Next week is the we're going back to the yeah from Monday to to Friday with some extra Saturdays with a little bit of trolling, you know, with the. <laughs> A little bit of trolling with the earliest access of Jagu's Aizen. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, I still want to check out a few minutes. I mean, I'm not going to be here for that long, I guess. I want to just still want to check out the mini games and I guess end the attempt of this. But yeah, just, uh, just uh, as a final note, as a final note. Um, playing with this big screen, League of Legends, was a challenge. <laughs> That that I will give. Uh, okay, okay. Now that's time for the saddest reveal. I have nine years of League of Legends on my back. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint, but it is what it is. I started on season two, and in around season ten or season eleven, every one of my friends where they were like, "I hate this game. I'm not having fun anymore." And I was like, "Okay, sure." Because I never really enjoyed playing League of Legends by myself. I really didn't. So yeah, that's uh. Yeah, okay, go, go back to monkey game. Let's, let's, let's not talk about League of Legends, okay? Let's uh, let's keep playing monkey ball. Desea guardar los cambios de sin título, no guardar. There you go. Damn, I, I think that's... I think I had more fun doing that than I should, honestly. I hate it so much, yeah. My condolences. <laughs> I mean, don't worry, guys. I don't play League of Legends anymore. I don't play it anymore. As I said, I mean... Uh, the thing, League of Legends is such a hard topic to me. Never play LOL. Good. Aki Yammer, trust me, don't do it. I'm not even kidding. By Dr. Mundo. <laughs> yeah.
Listen, the thing is, I don't know what is your experience with League of Legends. As I said, I have nine years on my back, plus a few more, because you don't really escape League of Legends. But I absolutely, I absolutely not recommend League of Legends. Like, don't you even think about it. I think the lady, yeah. I mean, the thing is, uh, the thing is, it's so hard to have. I mean, the problem with the game for me, I mean, for me, that was a friend game. The only time I played League of Legends by myself was on ranked game. Like, that's it. I, I main support. Yeah, that's also the thing. Like, I, I, I main fucking support in League of Legends, which I have a lot of fun. So I played the game by myself. I played ranked mode. I played, I played until I get gold rank, and that's it. Like, not again. Never again. Because in, people get so mad for anything. It's just so unfun. Everyone can just... People expect everyone to play perfectly. You may love. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can say my favorite League of Legends champion and no one will ever know because I don't know how you guys play League of Legends, but if you're curious, just look for uh, Burom League of Legends. B-R-A-U-M. That's my favorite League of Legends character. Yasuo. Hey, that's a... Um, that's an interesting character. Yasuo is really fun. I mean... Yasuo is one of those characters that everyone hates, but um, it's really, really fun to play. But yeah, I mean, if you want to see my favorite League of Legends champion, B R A U M. It's a big muscle guy with a really cool mustache and a shield. But yeah, I mean, the main reason I stopped playing League of Legends was, uh, as I said, my friends stopped having fun with the game. They just, it just, they barely, they got time to play and they few times we played the game, they got mad, and it was like, I'm not enjoying this, like, no one is enjoying the game, so what's the point? Monkey Ball, hey, that's a really good choice. That's a really good choice, I mean, pr probably this game can get out of kids mad, but, yeah. Brom looks like Eggman. <laughs> <Continue? laughs> okay, the, okay, I'm gonna tell you my favorite three champions of League of Legends, um... Number two is Pike. P Y K E. Pike. That's my second favorite champion. And my third favorite champion is Jin. J H I N. Those three are my top. Uh, my, my favorite champions of the game. Top three. Which way. <laughs> hey, let's not start with that. Listen. Listen. Do you want a face reveal? Do you want a, Do you guys want a fucking face reveal? Check this out. Like a dragon. Face reveal. There you go. <laughs> when like what from one year from now, face reveal. <laughs> Not only that, I will cosplay as Ichiban. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, um Monkey Reveal when. I'm pretty sure I can get a song with Ichiban hair. I'm not even kidding, like if I let my hair grow, I have this curly hair that goes up. Like, it's really weird. Pretty sure if I go with a little bit of effort and a lot of a professional barber or something, a hairstylist, I can get Ichiban's hair. <laughs> maybe not as big as him, but maybe I can get something similar. <laughs> that could be insane. <laughs> but, I mean... I mean, when you say, I mean, Pace Revia, you know, we've been joking with the set at Previa and all this boost, so, and we have fun with it. I don't know if you guys really are into the Pace Revia, I really don't. Because, um, I really don't want to show my face, like, I'm, having a face cam is something I don't really want to have. I wouldn't mind having it, like, maybe some streams just for fun, like, like Dark Souls. Oh, dude, check out this really face reaction when he's getting backstabbed by Scumfucker69, the... That who, who has like 9,000 hours of Dark Souls or something like that. But you know, as I always said, I would rather become a bit blooper than having a face cam all the time. That's to give you an idea how little I want to have a face cam all the time. Maybe some days I wouldn't mind. But as I said, my face cam right now will be a body cam. You will be watching my entire body. Because. I just saw my setup, okay? You have an idea. <laughs> you have an idea. There's, there's no place to have the camera. Akiyama sub story number 11. What is Akiyama sub story number 11? I mean, I mean, it's not like... 
Okay, guys, time to uh, depressing talk shit. I really don't like me. I don't, I mean, I really never like my face. I don't like my voice. <laughs> I put the depression kick to kick in. <laughs> I mean, as I said, I don't really mind to have, like, for fun, like... I'm not even going to lie. When there are streamers I like, I like to know what they look like. I mean, I don't know if I'm on that list for you. I'll cook just here. I don't need to answer. So I will understand the... I want to see what this guy looks like. I want to see this voice. What this voice looks like, which is I, you know, understandable. So, you know, never say never. You never know when maybe, for whatever reason, just suddenly, hey, boys, we have a face now. But uh, as I said, I mean, I would rather do the ultimate joke. I mean, I'm, I appreciate you guys. I mean, <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming here. I mean, it's still kind of surreal to me that people keep coming here. I'm, like, especially that one guy that has been with me for one year. There's also another guy that doesn't come here that often because, I mean, he's busy with life, but hey, I appreciate you guys. Akiyama plays his imposter. There was an imposter, Akiyama? Oh, yeah, a fake Sky Finance. Oh, yeah, I was thinking of fake Kiryu, like he, Yakuza too. Yeah, there was a... <laughs> there was, like, a fake Sky Finance. Yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, if, I mean, I'm pretty sure I say this, I don't know about if you guys were here when I say that, like, the origin of Cowboy Magag is a joke about big doing with a friend. Because when I created, I mean, probably I said this already, maybe you already guys, you guys already know, but... When I was creating this channel, I was thinking, what, what name can I put in English? And I just told this joke I had with a friend, like, joke from 2008 or 9, and this channel was created in 2021. I got this joke with this friend, I was like, dude, when... When I grow, when in the future, like when I grow up, we were like 20 something. <laughs> I'm gonna become a VTuber. So if you ever see a cow, a monkey with a cowboy hat, you know who that is. So when I created this channel, that just came to my mind. I was, I was like, okay. And Cowboy Macaco was also another video of um of a Brazilian dude screaming Macaco. That's it. So I'd rather do the ultimate joke of this channel, like the ultimate joke, and become a bit bluer than having a face cam, a face cam all the time. I'm not into bit by the way. I just wanna say that. I mean, I like one. Okay, I will say that. I like one. There you go. You can, you are free to dislike and subscribe and everything. I don't know how you guys feel about bit but whatever. I don't even watch anyone. Like. I barely watch streamers this day. I only watch two because they stream at night time and I watch them before going to sleep. That's it. But yeah, that's me. That's my life. The ultimate joke. I think I sometimes take jokes way too far. Like, just check out the subscriber milestones. <laughs> that's just a joke to take way too far. More more far than it will be. And now this coming week, I'm going to do like a stupid joke, like the little bit of trolling. I'm just going to play a, a, a samurai game. And I'm going to say, oh, yeah, guys, I'm streaming Yagusa Isin, I swear. I swear. But yeah, who, who is a fuck? <clears throat> Thanks, Abdul. Well, Abdul, first of all, I mean, I appreciate what you say, but I hope you, your life gets better, dude. I mean, at the end of the day, listen, at the end of the day, I mean, I know I care for self-improvement. I really try to improve English, that's the whole point, but um, I try to at least keep, be positive and have fun. I mean, if you guys want to be here and have fun with me, that's cool, or just talk about whatever, like, you know, talking about WrestleMania or not, Royal Rumble or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I appreciate you guys being here, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate you guys getting here, and I really hope you guys have fun, like, well, have fun, not, not have fun with me, with this thing, like, with your life, like, I hope your life gets good or still, like, there's no need to be an asshole with life, at least with other people. I mean, if you, if it works, I mean, life got a lot better, like, November 2021 was like, no, 2022, okay, November 2022 was like, finally, Life. Life is moving, finally. Also, can I ask, why am I talking about life and depressing shit on fucking monkey ball? Like, why? <laughs> well, let's say, like, right now my life is nice. I hope you guys are doing fine, too.
that Abdul, I hope your life gets better. I hope everyone here that is here right now or later gets better too. Like, I really do. Okay, let's check out party games. What is party games? Monkey Race. Oh, oh sorry, I mean 2022. Sorry, uh, I said, I mean 2022. In 2002, I was like... Seven. I was seven. You, okay, I'm glad that you were having 2022. Games... That... Came out 2022. Uh, okay, games that I played that came out this year. I played the Age of Mythology. I have a physical copy. Um... Kingdom Hearts, I never really... I like Kingdom Hearts, but I've never been a hardcore fan of, Age of, of Kingdom Hearts. Resident Evil, Resident Evil Remake, but I didn't have that. Um, where are my games? PS2. PS2, okay. Uh, there's something here I play. There's very many games that I played here. Okay, Metal Gear 2. Metal Gear 2, I played that one. I, I plan to play Metal Gear 2 here eventually. Okay, whatever. Who is a shit? But yeah, I meant 2022. Because, you know, I mean, I don't want to talk about my life, but let's say, um... Let's say that when, uh... When... Let's say that my life was going... I mean, <laughs> I really don't want to, but who gives a shit? I mean, I guess it's my fault for starting. Let's say that in, from June 2020 to November 2022, my life was non-existent. Oh, this is like Mario Kart. I mean, by non-existent, I mean uh, my life was going nowhere, okay? It's just a, a boring life of... And when there's so much time when you are doing nothing with your life, you just think about so, so many stuff. And sometimes it just kicks in, it just... Yeah, I promised myself that in 2020 I'm going to improve myself. No, I mean, at least I will try. At least I will try to... Um, not be so mean to myself. <laughs> Let's just say that. But yeah, there was... Um, there was some time. I mean, some stuff happened. I mean, I'll... Yeah. But dude, when you, there's so much, when for so long you're doing nothing with your life and just, you just think and think and when you try to do something, you just cannot do it because no one wants you or something like that or just, you just, you just can't, it's like, shit, you just, you just think a lot. You know what? 2022, that was easier, yeah, I mean. I mean, I sometimes feel bad because I never got um, a bad life. I Yeah, I mean, pre pretty sure that's not in my country. I mean, I never was a good student, okay? That I will give to you. I never was a good student. Just to give you an idea of how much of a fucking loser I, I am, and I was, I guess. And we have this... Um, in Spain... We have this thing called... Um, Okay, this is the English barrier, okay? This is the language barrier. I don't know how to translate this. We have this thing called bachiller. That's something you do before going to university. Okay? The bachiller is two years. Two years, you're done. You can go to university or you can do another bullshit, like... You can do a lot of stuff. Oh, I didn't want to do this. That thing took me five years. <laughs> Yeah, it took me five fucking years. I never was a good student. Also, I mean, that's also the time that um, I changed the school, by the way. Because you need, in the school I was, bachiller, you need to pay to be bachiller. It was a private school, by the way. So I said, okay, I'm, not, I'm a bad student. There's no point for me to be there because I'm just going to waste my parents' money. So I really don't want to. I don't want to waste my parents' money with that bullshit. So I went from a private school to a to a private school to a public school where Bachiller was free. And let me tell you something. It was really painful for a guy like me. Like I'm, I know probably I don't sound like I don't sound like it in this when I'm streaming. 
I'm not that social. Like, I don't talk that much with anyone. I just do my thing. I try to not to annoy everyone. Anyone. I try to be nice to everyone. But do I'm not that social when I'm face to face uh, with someone. So just losing my all time friends. Like, these four friends I have. They are. Pro since I was a kid. Since, ever since I was a little weak child. I've been the older. The, uh, yeah, basically. So I just go in there in this place. Also, in this. Public school, I was like, dude, public school, everyone is. Everyone's going to be mean, everyone's going to be an asshole because, dude, it's just. Uh, and guess what, by the way, everyone was nicer in the public school than the private school. So that was something surprising. Also, it was cooler because. I mean, this is probably be nasty, I really don't want to, but I guess. I mean, in the private school, we have like. In all my life, okay, let's say for my student year in that private school. When, let's say for non-white kids, okay, let's go there, I'm sorry. There was one Latina, and that has that was with me all the time, and one black kid from one year. When you went to the public school, there was everyone from everywhere. You have a lot of Latinos, you have a lot of black kids, you have even Muslim people. It was cool, like, it was like, damn. And everyone was getting together alone, that was really cool. Because in this private school, I remember people being a little bit mean to these... Oh, sorry, two Latinos, by the way. One Latina girl, one Latino kid. I, I, I did friends with Latino kid, that was a cool, a cool guy. I remember people bullying a little bit the black kid. I mean, I was nice to him. I, <laughs> he knew my name. He, he didn't speak Spanish, by the way, he speak Fran, French. So that was really cool, that was, it was a nice kid. He was a nice kid, I remember him. But then you go to this public school and it's like, dude, everyone is like friendly with everyone. I'm like, oh, yeah, you have assholes. You, you must have assholes everywhere. That's life. It's the same stage. I went on the stage. Oh, I began play. So, I mean, I, that's probably something that's sad, but that was probably the damn. And guess what? People go near me and say, hey, dude, how, about you? how are you? Like, they wanted to be my friends. And I was like, no, dude, I'm fine. <laughs> I like, just to show you how asshole I was, I refused to make to make new friends. <laughs> Big mistake, by the way, because that makes the, all of those five years extremely painful. Well, not the last one. The last one was with a friend, because, you know. So, yeah, all, all of this, I don't even know why I started to talk about this. Um, during those years, Especially the... Um, except the first one and the last one were awful for me. Like, really, really bad. Not physically, but mentally. Like, mentally was disgusting. Let's say disgusting to the point that... Um, let's say my mind that was in the nicest stops, okay? Let's just say... <laughs> there was just some really nasty shit in my mind in those years. Like, really, really nasty shit. I never hurt anyone, I never hurt myself, you asking that, like, no, don't worry about that. But yeah, there was some nasty, nasty thoughts in my mind, just how fucked up I was mentally. Because I felt like, we, this little, like, 17-year-old kid, or 18-year-old man, whatever you wanna call it, it was in his head, there was nothing. I was, I was going nowhere, and I was felt so miserable. Plus, all my friends were moving in life, like, it was just me. So, yeah. Many people in private schools are arrogant fucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, so don't worry, but hey, let me just. Um, let me give me a second here. Okay, I think the game should be a lot quieter for you. Let, let me, if you need more, less volume. I think it should be really, really quiet now. If you need something else, tell me, it's okay. Like, at this point, it just, I don't really care. The music is good. The gameplay just races. It's just whatever. No, it's fine. Like that. But <laughs> yeah, what I was saying is that when I was in this public high school to do the, the bachelor thing, that just two years that for me it was five. Um, except the second, third, and fourth year, mentally, it was disgusting. Mentally, it was disgusting. That's cool, too. Yeah. The thing is, there were so many, so many cool guys in this public high school. So many cool guys. And I just, I just refused to befriend them. 
Like, people that actually got near me and tell me, Hey, hey, dude, how are you? Are you feeling all right? Listen, we are here. Come, come hang out with us in the recess. It's fine. And I refused. And it was like, nah, dude, I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm, I'm okay. And a part of me is like... I mean, a part of me, I really don't care because I, I, I grow up to the point that I don't care about meeting new people, which it's awful, by the way. It's really bad. But it's still, I can assure you, having friends in the school or in, having friends in places that you don't enjoy or where you are not feeling yourself can really help a lot, even if it's just some really, really small a new guy you just met. However, it's oh, that maybe that's the thing. I mean, I'm really sorry to not be able to translate um, Bachiller because, as far as I know, there's not real translation because that's just something that you know every country has this thing. You know, have middle school, high school. Just, I don't even know how to translate. I'm sorry. As I say, it's just two years, and you can go to the university if you want to. I didn't pick university. I did another thing that is like I'll get to that later. <laughs> I'll get to that later. So, yeah, public high school was mostly shit because I made it shit. I'm not even kidding. Well, my mom forced me to befriend one kid that was kind of a neighbor. I mean, he was a really nice kid, but we had nothing in common. Like, he was one of these uh, sports dude that likes sports. He really loved tennis. Wonderful guy, okay? Really, really good guy. Wonderful guy. Fantastic guy. But we had nothing in common. We had absolutely nothing in common. I was a giga nerd, by the way, I'm, I still am. Like, video games, I need my video games. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, it was... Yeah. So now, I survived, I mean... The school thing. Uh, yeah, give me a second, buddy. Welcome to uh, Spain. Welcome to Spain. You do bachelor. I mean, that's completely optional, by the way. Batch, these two years of bachelor are completely optional, but if you get this bachelor degree, you you un let's say you unlock many, many, many possibilities for you. Even just by having that, not even by starting something else or doing something else, just by having that, that unlocks a lot for you. Unlocks. Uh, by the way, I got bachelor because my parents forced me. <laughs> Which, thanks mom and dad, I really appreciate that. It was probably, probably the smartest, as I said. I was so mentally dog shit at that, that point that I didn't want to do it. But yeah, I did like a distance bachelor. That's something you can do. You don't need to go to classes and such. Wow! That last year was with a friend, by the way. And that year, let me tell you, it was so good. It was so good. It was just fun. I got... I can assure you, this is what they say, listen, listen boys and girls, or whatever you are, whatever you are, I appreciate you, and I like you, don't worry. For me, for me, you're fine, whatever you are, okay? <laughs> Let's just say that, I have no problem with you. These years of Bachi, as I said, it was dog shit, like, first year was fine, because you know stuff. By the way, that was, that year was when I started to play League of Legends with my friend. So yeah, it, it was the omen, it was the omen. <laughs> This last year of Batch year, the fifth one. I'm not even kidding. It's probably one of the best in my life. Just because I had, I did this distance Batch year with a friend. Distance is that you don't need to go to classes because you just go to do the, text, the tests and that's, and that's it. Everything else is up to you. Professors and teachers give you the, the notes that you need to study to win. Not, not to win. <laughs> to pass the test, okay? So you just, they give you, you download the thing. You just study and they say, okay, this day you have a test, you go here, you do it, fine. Dude, and the thing is, it was really easy. It's like our German Abitur. Okay, sorry for the pronunciation, but Abitur. <laughs> cool three points. <laughs> but yeah, listen, it's not just that because it was, I mean, distance bachelor is mostly for, um, let's say, parents of people that are really old and they don't have time to actually do the real bachelor. I mean, it's still bachelor, like, bachelor. But I did it with this friend. This friend is, what, is the one I call sometimes Yakuza friend, because this is the friend that played the Yakuza games. I mean, only only zero K, one K, two, one like a dragon. But I, I call him Yakuza friend. I talk about him a few times. It was that, it was, it wasn't that hard. And dude, we were having so much fun, because there was like, um... 
a library nearby, nearby that we went to study sometimes. And it just, I kid you not, all I remember in those days is just the Lex Jacuzzi in real hell. Well, I have I have one friend. I mean, he like, um, he played a little tiny bit of three, but he never played more. I mean, he did the Majima fight. But I don't remember if he told me that he doesn't really enjoy how the, the fight fell or just, I, he, he didn't have time. He's playing Red Dead Redemption 2 right now, just to give you an idea. But in this library, we, we went there every morning to study, and all I remember is, I see you not. Me trying to study somehow, and he was playing Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> Until, okay, first, first days, first weeks, it was like, Flex Jaguar, okay, it's good enough. And listen, you have one friend, okay? One friend is better than zero friends, okay? Let's just take it that way. Shit. Okay, I, I'm not even paying attention to the game anymore. I'm just talking about whatever. I'm talking about life itself. I never thought I would talk it. Listen, of all the games I would be talking about myself, I never expected to be Monkey Ball. Like, fucking Monkey Ball. <laughs> but listen, what I want to say this year is it was so good. I had so much fun with this friend. Like, trying to study until he's, he was like, we were like, fuck this. And he was playing Pokemon Emerald, like, about every single day. <laughs> fucking... And then I remember just studying, I remember, okay, let's take a break, and that break was like, like, one hour break, <laughs> like, you know, this classic one hour break, and then the worst thing happened, I mean, the worst thing for, I mean, by the way, I got it, I, that was the year I got the Bachelor title, okay, it was really fun, I'm not even kidding, it was uh, one hour break, <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I, I'll keep going, give me a second here. But let, just let me do something. I got the bachelor title, the degree, the diploma, call it whatever you want. It felt so good. It was like, damn, finally. It was, it honestly felt like life, it was moving forward. And let me tell you something. That's one of the best feelings you can get in your life. I'm not even kidding. Like the idea that you, you are not stuck anymore and you are just moving forward. is just, damn, finally, life. So the thing is, one day I went to the PS3 store, the PS3 network, and I found out, dude, Soul Calibur 2 for 2 euros. We love Soul Calibur, okay, I talk about this a few times, Soul Calibur, I love, Soul Calibur is my favorite fighting game. It's Soul Calibur and Smash Brothers, those are my two favorite games, but Soul, I, like, I love Soul Calibur. We love Soul Calibur so much, and dude... We got to the point when I got that game that we went to the library to study. We went there like one hour and one hour it was like, okay, let's go to my home to play Soul Calibur. <laughs> so this library is too different. Let's go to the... By the way, we were like 15 minutes to the library working. So it's like, we got there 45 minutes, sometimes even 30 minutes. I went, okay, dude, let's go to my home to play Soul Calibur. And he was like, yeah, dude, let's play some Calibur. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Soul Calibur 2 is really, really, really fun. I mean, Soul Calibur is, has a special place in my heart because it's the first and one of the few games that all of my friends got into. Like, all of us learned Soul Calibur 5 at the same time. Well, not me, not really. I got the game from one year, but I didn't really learn the game. But yeah, dude, that was so fun. And then that wasn't even the best part. The Soul Calibur days wasn't the best part. One of my other friends, I never talk about this friend. This, okay, this is PC friend, because this is the friend that built my PC, okay? A really good guy. This is the PC friend is the guy that looked for uh, every single piece that I in this PC, and he built himself. I only put the money. He did everything else. So he was also like us, like doing a distance bachelor. And then we decided to go to his home every single morning. Like, dude, we had so much fun. We had... We had so much fun those days, even though just playing League of Legends, you had no idea the amount of good memories I got in that in that year. Just just with my two friends going to his friend's house just to watch League of Legends, just to watch some some bullshit, just to hang out to in my home to play Soul Calibur. So what they want to say, and uh, the best thing, I got bachelors, even though I, it was like I didn't try, I studied too, and I did it. I got the, the degree. So all this long story is because I want to tell you guys that sometimes life is shit. <laughs> because it is what it is. Sometimes life is fucking dog shit. 
But it's still, good times will come. Because I can assure you, that GR is still one of my favorite ones. Even though we, we pick a bus to go to a, let's say to a neighbor city, just to surprise a friend that was on the university. So the, me and this Jagusa friend, we pick up a fucking bus. <laughs> and we went to, to this neighbor town just to surprise this friend of the university. And we never did because <laughs> he, was, he wasn't there. And he was like, okay, now we, what do we do? Like, let's hang out in this university. It was so fun, dude. So yeah, the whole point is, you will have bad times. That's life. Like it or not, that's life. But you will also have good times. You just need to keep going. I mean, all this long ass speech, all this long ass whatever you want to say. What I mean is, good times will come. It's just a matter of time. You only need to keep going. I know it sounds like the generic depressive bullshit, but trust me, this is what it is. I mean, maybe you guys have wor worse than me. I don't know. Because thankfully, I never had um, the old trouble I have was mentally. That's it. Everything else was fine, really. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to Brazil. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's reality. You keep going and eventually, like... And you know, you know, okay, now this is the... Um, I guess I need to keep going with the story about the present bullshit. I guess... Okay, Monkey Ball, the game where I talk about my life and how... <laughs> Why fucking Monkey Ball, dude? Like all this depressive bullshit, all this life life talk, and then it just on the screen you have a fucking monkey on a ball making weird noises. But yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so I got the bachelor degree, and I got in this. Uh, then again, I don't know how to translate this in English or whatever language. Let's say there's an alternative to retire. Okay, whatever. You have an alternative to university. Okay. You have an alternative to university, which I don't even know how to call it. I mean, in this in this country, it's called um, superior grade. Okay, that's the translation. Superior grade. Okay, give me a second. My room is really dark. Let me put, turn on the lights. Me, me not talking wrong. Okay, this I'm from 1995. Okay, what I'm going to tell you now it was um, 2016. Okay, the big depression of 2020, like 2020. Okay, 22. Okay, now that's real English. That I like it more. 2012, 2013. How my life went to shit. Uh, and also I guess I will talk a little bit about the COVID. <laughs> the, the, what my life in COVID was. Um. But yeah, I'm from 1995. Okay, let's play another thing, please. It was destiny, dude. Listen, it was destiny. Do you know what also happens February 10th? Ten Anniversary of my first ever stream. February 10th. February 10th. Do you know what also happens February 10th? It's my brother's birthday. I'm not even kidding. February 10th is my older brother's birthday. Maybe it's my destiny. Maybe my destiny was being here all along. <laughs> okay, let's do some monkey fight. Talking about Jagusers. Okay, control is dead. So, okay, this was another topic about how life can get better. We're just for the ultimate 10 years. Yeah, also, guess what? You know my favorite character of Yakuza Zero is? Nisiki. Listen. Maybe, maybe I really, maybe I really need to get a Koi tattoo on my back. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? What about a monkey pissing a Koi? Oh! Okay, so I, I mean, I don't know if you guys are interested in the... Why my life was like really, really dark in 2020, and it has nothing to do with the pandemic. Okay, I'm go I, I really don't want to say this because I know the 2020 lockdown was a really, really bad year. I always joke about with um, 
You know, oh yeah, good year. I love the deep tell. Yeah, I love. I want to hear you fucking sad. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's say uh, in Spain we have this thing called um. A lazy translation is superior grade. Okay. Fucking pandemics. <laughs> so yeah, this was a this is a two year thing, and you have something that is equal as an university title. I mean, it's not as powerful as an university title, but it's really good. This is what I got. Um, the first year, listen to this, listen to this, December 31st, Gener in, no, it was the morning of January 1st, I got a fucking virus, let me, let me, I got, let me, give me a second, it was in code, by the way, I want to see co how it is called in English, Uh, glandular fever. That's how it's called in English. Yeah, I got glandular fever. January one. Holy shit! So let me tell you something. Um, in the grade I got, I really don't want to talk about that specific grade right now. Um, first the quarter. I mean, I this is just the. I really sorry. This is the English barrier when it comes to something really specific, but um. Here you have three quarters, let's say. Let's have one, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and then you're done. Oh, you're done for this year. You have another year, and that second year you have practicing business or whatever you want to call it. So this first quarter, it was lethal. Like, almost everyone got destroyed because it was kind of tough. So I remember in, in before ending the year, like in Christmas, I was like, dude, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to destroy this year February January 1st you have glandular fever I missed school until two, I, I, missed, I missed this grade for two fucking months yeah so I missed tests I missed classes I missed everything and at that point I was like okay I give up I'll try next year <laughs> yeah I mean it was some I mean for you but then again I gave up okay there's no there's really nothing to say. You shouldn't give, give up. So I gave up and it was like, okay, next year, I'll try again. I'll do it again. So let's just say it was a misunderstanding. And um, I I didn't go in the next year. So I was like, for from one year, I did, I did, I did like, um, see, this is the problem with the language, bar language barrier. Let's say I did a thing that give, gives me a really, really small title just because of I didn't want to have one year with nothing, like doing nothing with my life. So I just say, okay, let's do this thing. And then after that, I'll fucking do this superior grade. Okay, spoiler alert, I did it. I did the thing, I gave back, I got the title. So uh, the, the end of the title, the title I got in 2020. So that means my this two years thing, which for me it was actually four because I'm a fucking idiot, ended in 2020. And specifically when you because I don't know in your country or anyone's country, like in your last year you have like um language barrier again. You go to a business to practice, like let's say I don't even know how to compare this, like you have like Three months of you going to a business and you are like um, an employee. You're like working for them for three months and then you do your class and you do like this final PowerPoint presentation. I'm sorry for the English. Like I'm really caught now. So for those three months, for those three months, it was the lockdown. It was the pandemic lockdown. Yikes. I couldn't go there. So, I mean, good news is I got the deadline anyway. Because this um, this final uh, presentation, this probably there's a real name to that. There's a real true name, which I can't think right now. It was the note for the end, so I got it. Okay, good good ending, I got the note. Okay, that's a really good thing. I got really excited. After four years, I got it. After four years of being a fucking monkey, I got it. And this is what I want to say about the... Because this is the beginning now. In the pandemic, I really don't want to say this because... I don't know how your pandemic was. Like, for me, 
It was really fun. Because I think that I'm a... What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, this is like this is really anticlimactic. This was really anticlimactic. I'm really sorry. Long. Okay. Okay. Aquí ya me sorry to sorry to to read that dude. I mean, that's that's why I really not not that proud of saying. Yeah, I have fun with the pandemic because I know for for many many people it was really really bad, and for many people they lost like really bad of family and friends, and so I really don't I really don't like to say that. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that, buddy. Because I know, I mean, I was lucky enough that none of my at that time, by the way, I got I got COVID. If you guys, I, I mean, it's not that exciting, but I'll talk about that if you guys want later. I was lucky enough that none of my family members, nor friends, or anyone got COVID, and it was, for me, it was, okay, well, yeah, like, it was a really tough year for many, many people, so why I say I had fun, because, a spoiler alert, if you haven't, if you haven't been here long enough, I'm a huge, a huge ass video game nerd, and, you know, you grow up, life happens, and you and your friends don't play games that often anymore. Because, you know, life. Because that's that's a thing. So... How do I... So, for me, three months in home with my friends every single day to play video games, it was delightful. Like, I, that's why I really don't want to say I had fun with COVID, but because... As I said, for many, many people, it was hell. For me, it was delightful. Like, dude, all of those League of Legends games. Like, having, dude, a party of five in League of Legends. That was really, really, really rare for me. And we were playing five players in League of Legends. It was so fun. Then we discovered Payday 2. And we had so much fun with Payday 2. Like, I, I like... Payday 2 has a special place in my heart. Because that was our pandemic game. And it was so much fun. Playing Resident Evil 5 for the first time with a friend. Playing Resident Evil 6 for the first time with a friend. That, that's not that good, okay? That Resident Evil 6 memory for me is not that good. Playing Dead Rising 2 with a friend. Just watching movies with my friend with this, this Discord stream. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. But then after that, then... Life fucking sucks because... Just like uh, what happened on those years, I said, my life was going nowhere. Like, it was like, okay, I had my title. Time to uh, look for a job and get what? Nothing. I found nothing. At that time, I found nothing. So when you, I found one thing for one single month, but it was like, that's it, one month. Like one month, which it was fine, but at the same time, it's, you, you cannot live out for one month, okay? Oh, see, I... What the fuck? that hit <laughs> okay abdul i'll read that seed. i'll read your message like in a second give me let me finish this because this is like destroying my mind this game <laughs> because yeah so from june 2020 until november 2022 my life was um i mean there was good moments of course there was bad moments and good moments but let's say i was a slowly a slowly falling into i call it the well it was a duel that eight times gets deeper and the worst thing is there's a point in your life. There's a point. You actually get comfortable in the darkness. That's that's my life right now, honestly. This thing, oh, I don't want to meet new people. I don't want to... These friends, I'm fine. That's me being comfortable in the, in the, in the darkness. Okay, let me read this. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me read this. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's nice. You see, at least we got something good of the pandemic. I mean, it was dog shit, of course. I mean, you don't need to be a genius, but hey, at least at this I can say I had my fun in the pandemic, which I really hate to say that. I this is something I also say to my friends. I really hate to say it, but I had so much friend, like watching a lot of movies, played a lot of video games, like discovering payday 2, playing video games, like it was fun. It was really fun. So what I want to say is that from June 2020, when I got my degree, my title, to 
to November 2022, my leg was nothing. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was like nothing. And as I said before, when you do nothing for so much time, you think. You think about many, many things. And when you think about your life all the time and everything, you, you end up falling down. You end up falling. It's, it is what it is. And especially when since all of my friends are doing great, which I'm really happy for them. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm really, really happy for them. Like, one of the university title, he's like re re living really fine. Like, Jagu's a friend is with me. We are near close. And we have like fine. Listen, PS3 friend is fucking married with a son. That's how good his life is. Okay? So, all my friends, I'll say that we are doing, they are doing fine. I'm really, really happy for them. But sometimes I just wish to go back and play video games together. Shit. Okay, if I possibly was reading. Nice. So yeah, what I say is that you think a lot. I, through all these years, I think a lot. I, and yeah, pretty much. I mean, Akiyame, Akiyame asked me once, what are you doing when you're not streaming? And I just told him, I have a job, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm from 7 to 3. It's it's a good one, okay? I'm, I'm, it's fine. But that's kind of new. Do you know what... Listen up. This is something that's going to be really weird. Do you know what really chilled me up on... Through the entirety of 2022? Streaming. Like... <laughs> streaming to one guy and sometimes two. Two wonderful persons. Actually chilled me up because... It was new. It was like a brand new thing for me to do. And I was... I would consider myself... All right in English. Maybe not speaking English. I guess... I can assure you, after one year speaking English, this level has improved a little bit. So it was something new, it was fun, I was replaying Jagusa games, which I really, really like. I also played games that has been really, really long since I played, like Dead Rising, Red Dead Redemption, I fucking love Red Dead Redemption, I was replaying the game. Demon's Souls, I really like, even though my playthrough of Demon's Souls was dog shit. So I had a lot of fun, and let me tell you something, every single day, getting here to in... in... To, uh, at 5... At, at my 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Really chill me up. It was something that I look forward every day. It was like, dude, dude. It was like, dude, 5, 5 p.m. Let's play some Jagusa 3. Let's get some achievements. I have this cool guy on the chat so we can talk about Jagusa. I mean, that was really nice. Even even when he wasn't on the chat, it was me playing Jagusa 3. I really enjoyed the game. I was having fun. Like, real fun. And talking English. I was like, damn. Must be really fluent. Yeah, listen, Abdul, I appreciate it, but let's be honest here. I I started a lot. Sometimes I have like poor poor choices. I mean, it's not bad, okay? <laughs> let's be honest, bad it is not, but it's not perfect. Turkish educational system. Anyway, that's one of the reasons I'm bad at speaking. Yeah, Akiyamer, I feel exactly the same. Like the the way they teach English here. You learn how to read, you learn how to write, you learn how to listen. But to the schools I went, speaking like speaking English was like irrelevant. Yes, sometimes the teacher say, oh, "You read this," but there was never like a test. There wasn't never really um, let's say uh, a note about speaking. It was a test. Was you you listen, you write, you can read. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's your your turkeys, I guess. So that's why speaking wasn't never my forte. <laughs> nice. I mean, I did it yes in English. Yes, a bit. A bit. See. <laughs> so that's one of the things with the educational system with English, I guess. At least with, when I went to a school, that was like a really long time ago. They never really focus on. He spoke Turkey. He never really in the when I went to school. They never really focus on speaking. That's why, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, the main reason I started streaming wasn't only because to improve. My my English, which uh, that's the main reason. 
Um, hey, that's really nice, dude. That's really new. Variety. <laughs> that's called variety. <laughs> um, when I want, I went into a test. Uh, let's I don't know. Let's say. I did a thing, let's call it a thing, okay? That if I pass the test, I had a degree that confirmed that I have a B2 level of English. I don't know, maybe this is different in every country. But it's just basically a piece of paper that says, okay, this dude is above average in English, okay? He can speak English. Because above B2, you have C1, you have C2, which C2 is basically fluent, and then you have C3, which is native, so... Okay, it's A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, C3. Which, you know, mostly it's C2, because C3, as I said, is native. If you're not native, you're never going to get C3. But, yeah. So, I wanted to... Listen now. Let me let me check. Okay, sorry for breaking the monkey ball. If you want to see monkey ball, I'm sorry. Today is the present day. We talk about life. Let me check something. Let me check something. Oh, by the way, someone just subscribed. I have 180. That means Kiryu just did one step to sing, to give me a microphone to sing um, Bakami Dai. <laughs> okay, whoever did that, uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, content. Okay, no, li list. Playlist. Okay. Check this out. Some guy with broken English visits the Spencer Mansion, okay? My first ever stream. My first ever stream. Uh, 7 August 2021. I mean, if you, if you, if for some reason you are curious to see, check out the first ever stream. There you go. <laughs> if, that was me. That was me in, um, yeah, 7 August 2021. Hey, you mess up here. I, I mess up. So I did that because... I had this test coming up, so you, it was February, and I said, okay, I need to improve my English pronunciation. I really need to, because I know it's bad. I really need to improve. So I thought to just, you know, stream, because I, I, think, I was thinking of just speaking, but I told to myself, listen, I'd rather speak, to, I'd rather talk to a video game than talk to the world. <laughs> so that's why I started streaming. By the way, this stream was started at 11 p.m. Don't ask. It was a night stream. <laughs> By the way, this stream has a remake in the shape of Resident Evil Remake. Like, yeah, celebrating one year since my first awful stream. Uh, the game just crashed. Okay, don't we do we don't care. We enjoy AI dancing. So, yeah, th that's that's when I started to stream. So, uh, yeah, if you are not into Resident Evil, I played Gil, then I played Chris the next day. I fall I stream to WZ and Revia. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from Amazonia, the first ever viewer. You have no idea how weird it felt. Like, I was just some random asshole here, and then suddenly, hi, low level English here. I'm from Amazonia, and I think he left. Like, he said, so, he said something like that, right? Yeah, sweet tooth. Hi, low level English here. Greetings from Amazonia. And then he vanished. <laughs> the first ever viewer. Sorry, Crazy Dead. You never, you never, you never were the first one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, that was mid game through the game. So okay, this was so, okay. So I did this I, because I wanted to improve. But then this out. This is the weird thing. The next stream, the next stream. When was the next stream? Uh, I need to go really far away. But you know, I played so many. Okay, let's take this. Out. Okay, the next game was Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter 1, December 7, 2021. There is one like. Why is, there, why is there one like on this stream? I don't hit like on my own videos. Who, who, who is this guy? Who hit like on Monster Hunter 1? 
By the way, there's only two streams of Monster Hunter 1. Because I didn't like the game. <laughs> I love, I love Monster Hunter. But Monster Hunter 1 is really tough. This was my first time ever playing the first ever Monster Hunter. And let me tell you, the game is rough. The game is rough to play, dude. <laughs> But yeah, December, so from December, so November 7th we said, what was the date? Okay, whatever, so that was the next stream, and after Monster Hunter, nothing. Nothing until, uh, I think I played Resident Evil Director Scott before playing Yakuza. Yeah, some guy with broken English plays Resident Evil Director's Cut. Yeah, this was January. Okay, January 18. I played Resident Evil Director's Cut because I wanted to actually stream to improve the English because as I said, like by the way, I don't remember the exact date of the of this English test test. It was the same week I started to stream Yagusa. <laughs> so yeah, they just yikes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I played this game, Night Stream, and then I gave up. And then suddenly, finally, some guy with broken English plays Yakuza. The OG Yakuza one. And that's when it all started. I actually streamed. I did the test. By the way, I did the test. Every note was really high, except speaking. Speaking was really low. It was really, it was almost a failure, by the way. It was almost fail. But yeah, and it all started here. I mean, if you really want, uh, if you really guys want to check this out, how it, how this was like one year ago. That's me. Come on. You discovered it because the karaoke singing. What? Wow, so you discovered myself because of my own humiliation. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So that stream, that's actually the real one. That stream was the one that I call that one the real one. Majima Heart Attack. That, that's probably the popular ones. I mean, the, the three, uh, the Majima Heart Attack, he is shooting a woman, which the comments of that video is disgusting, but when I wanted to do a meme. Uh, me making weird noises because those three videos got huge. Those three videos, for some reason, YouTube was like, okay, you, you are the chosen one for a few weeks. And it didn't blow up. And it went from 16 subscribers to um, to sink a mortal lullaby. Okay. <laughs> I had to sink a mortal lullaby <laughs> because of a stupid joke I did to two guys in Yakuza 4. <laughs> But yeah, the, I, the true real stream is Resident Evil 1. But the one I call the one that actually started going to because to stream daily was that Yakuza 1. You can appreciate the change of at least me talking. I mean, I barely can hear myself. The, it's, it's the same microphone, by the way. It's the same microphone since Resident Evil 1. It's just, I don't know, I guess I was more depressed than usual. By the way, fun fact, for Yakuza 1 and Dead Rising, it was daytime. It was morning streams. <laughs> yeah, that's the origin. I don't even know why I started to talk about the origin of this channel and what I did, but hey. There you go, I guess. <laughs> I mean, don't bother watching Yakuza 1. Remember, February 10th, uh, there's a rerun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yakuza series fun. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. So yeah, I don't even know how this, how, why or when I started to talk about this uh, streaming thing. Oh, by the way, I, I also created this YouTube channel because I was feeling like fucking dog shit. <laughs> yeah, this channel is also related with my awful year from 2020 to ending of 2022 because, as as you guys know, I'm a fucking failure. Of a human being, I'm a bad excuse of a, of a person, and I even worse as a as a man. Um, I failed my driving test. Okay, I a big macaglor. 
<laughs> yeah, this is probably more lore than the one I, I would like to give, but I don't really care at this point. The, the old, why I created this channel was related to... I was so done with everything that I needed to do something different. Because, uh, okay, here's the thing. I In this country, like I, think, I guess everyone else, the driving test works in... You need to do one of these theory tests with question and answers, and then one that is you actually driving the car. I guess that's every, everyone, everywhere in the world, I guess. Um... I failed two times one year and I gave up because yeah like I remember I, I don't like cars I don't I don't like driving I don't like vehicles uh, okay well I don't like cars okay just got it let's say it that way so I remember failing the test and my parents were talking shit to me non-stop for the weekend my relationship with my parents is good okay I mean it's it's a really good relationship it just you know it's not nice when you fail and you just get shit yeah, it's not nice. So, okay, let's say years pass, many years later. By the way, I got the driving lessons in 2021, by the way. <laughs> or 2022, I don't even remember. So, the thing is, uh, driving test, I, fa I, I got it at the fourth attempt, by the way. The actual driving was the fourth attempt. So, when I failed for the second time or third time, I got so done, I felt so awful with me. With myself that i just want i just needed to do something completely different like something out of nowhere and i created this channel and i uploaded my first ever video which is a silent hill 4 video um give me a second No, not, not the speedrun. Oh, by the way, there's a there's an actual lore in this channel. Every, every April 4th, when every, I only have one. I speedrun Yakuza 4, not Yakuza 4, Silent Hill 4, because that's... um. Uh, give me a second here. Because that's how the... That's around... What the fuck is it? Oh, wait, never mind, I'm stupid. That's when I... Uh, I uploaded the first video. Uh... Okay, the first ever video of this channel, the video that started it all. If you want to see it, it's that really short. It's like, what, 44 seconds. And then I uploaded random bullshit. I stopped the start, and then one year later, I started the stream to the English shit. It was in English, and it was a um, break the routine and such. Why are we talking about the channel? Like, who gives a fuck about this channel? <laughs> who gives a... Like, listen, like, what has I said about with Kiryu? I don't give a flying fuck about your channel. <laughs> on this video on your banner? Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the YouTube banner. Like, <laughs> listen, this enemy was a joke I had with my brother because he loves Silent Hill, he loves Resident Evil, and this enemy was a joke because he stands in that door and he does nothing. I mean, as I said, I will spirit on Silent Hill for April 4th. That's a guaranteed. April 4th or April 6th. Around those days, I will spirit on Silent Hill 4. For the anniversary of the first video ever. And the aggression of the channel, I guess. That's the one that started it all. No, sorry, listen, I'm not even a speedrunner. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint, but I, this the only game I actually speedrun is Silent Hill 4. The coach guy in Jagusa Games. <laughs> what, who, Kenda? Sadly, I mean... I remember speedrunning Resident Evil 3 as a kid because if you beat the game, you unlock an, an epilogue thing. And I wanted to get them all. I remember just playing Resident Evil 3 and just destroying the game. But speedrun a game with glitches? I think never. Oh, you mean, okay, you mean those guys. You mean those guys with a coach that use the essence of self-destruction. <laughs> okay, you mean those guys. <laughs> yeah, kinda. I mean, funny enough, you can just walk beside him and open the door and nothing happens. He's just a waste. He's just a waste of a slot. <laughs> he just gets there and don't move. So yeah, that's a really cool thing. Cool lore. Cool lore of this channel. Who is only two years old. Yeah, I, I, I think I have nothing to say. I think I have nothing to say. Let's just play this... 
Let's play with some monkeys. But yeah, I mean, who knows? His channel, the, the origin of this name is, is a VTuber joke with friends. I get this channel because I was so so done with everything because my life at that point was so bad. I wanted to do something different. Wait, well, I don't get to play? Oh, shit, what the fuck is this? But yeah, cool channel lore. What the hell is this? What? What? Okay, this actually seems to be really fun. <laughs> but hey. But yeah, there's nothing else to say about this channel right now. Yeah, I'm just thinking, and I think there's nothing to say. Oh shit. Can we be Bob? Yeah, honestly, I'm thinking about it. there's nothing else to say. Like, I seriously have nothing else to say about this. Okay, whatever, who cares? That's it. The, ta the lore has, has been discovered. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Okay, monkey's drowning. Monkey's drowning. Oh yeah, I mean, good, good stuff. <laughs> Wait, does he even win in this minigame? What? I have win. Listen, this could be a perfect Yakuza minigame. I really hope to have the, the monkey ball in like a dragon... 8, well, like, Yakuza 8, or Gaiden, or whatever. That would be really nice. But hey, whoever knows. Hideo Parachu. <laughs> oh, shit. Something really weird just come to my... Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Something just came out to my mind, but this is not channel lore, this is me lore. I, I just got a faint memory. When I was like 13 or 14, I wanted to start a, a Let's Play YouTube channel. Holy shit, it just came to my mind. When, when YouTube had, had Let's Play, when streaming wasn't a thing. And I even remember the first game I wanted to play. River City Ransom. <laughs> That's an NES game that I always wanted to play. Holy shit, I just... That just got into my mind. I mean, that's, that's cool, I guess. A gaming channel. I, I remember I got the game, I got the NES emulator. I think I think I even remember getting the the bomb. Getting a software to record the the stuff. The, I mean the thing it would it was the quality would be awful. Because I was using a really a laptop. So the, it was it would be a laptop microphone with who knows what. The thing is let me tell you something. For me, the main reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted to play games that I never played before. Like, that's one of the reasons I the games I chose in this channel are, is that sometimes. Like, that's why I picked Jagusa 1. That's why Dino Crisis is here. That's why I replayed Dead Rising. The thing is, this channel became, became um, a, Jagusa, a Jagusa stream, a, a Jagusa channel because I played one. I played two because I never played the OG version of Dragusa 1 and 2. 
And then I, I talked about so much about Jagusa 3. And I had some achievements left to get. And I was like, okay, fuck it. Let's play, let's play some Jagusa 3. And then I play, while playing Jagusa 3, I found a copy of Dead Souls. And I was like, dude, I had to Platinum 4 still. Let's do it. And then I'll play Dead Souls. And I'll play every Jagusa game at this point. 10 year of Minecraft. Yeah, the, the soundtrack of the OG Jagusa 1 and 2 is really good. Okay. I like the battle team of Jagusa 1 more than Kiwamis. And there are a few songs that are really, really good. And the biggest difference is you have the jazz in OG Jagusa 2. And in Jagus in Kiwami 2, you have the, um, the Japanese metal. No, you know the oh, God, oh, I'm about to bust a nut. Like, I mean, it's a good song, but it's not um, you know, it's not the uh, Japanese jazz. Ah, oh, shit. That's the biggest difference. But yeah, just remember, I got that memory. I mean, I wasn't thinking of doing like intros or outros or something. It was just me. I'll play River City Ransom and that's it. Move on. No edits, no anything. No like, hey guys, hit like, hit subscribe. Like, no, it was, hey, it's me. I'm going to play River City Ransom. Let's go. Like, well, in Spanish, by the way. It could be in Spanish, by the way. <laughs> My native language. Hola chicos, vamos a jugar River, River City Ransom, siempre quiero jugar este juego. Me gustan los beat em ups, pero nunca he jugado a, a este, este me siempre parece muy divertido. <laughs> That could be me, but with 13 years old. <laughs> Good old days. Shit. That would have been me, there's a, there's a timeline that would have been me. Also, this, this thing was, was fun. Okay, I win because there's no one playing with me. Uh, Ada, wait. But yeah. Interesting. Very cool and interesting lore. So I think I had enough for today for Monkey. I have enough boards for today. It was fun. Yeah, this game was really fun. I mean, the thing is, this game wasn't fun. The, the biggest thing with this game wasn't the fun. It was, I don't even know why I dropped some lore. I don't know why. Monkey Ball was the game to drop lore about the channel and myself. Like, why? <laughs> why Monkey Ball? <laughs> Real estate stream? <laughs> Listen, we got monkeys. We got balls. We got a setup reveal with MS Paint. We talk, we talk about life. We talk about... <laughs> <laughs> this is, you have to admit okay you have to admit this stream was one of the streams of all time you have to admit that at least if you don't agree with that you're lying you're a lying dog <laughs> it's okay i mean it was the it was the weirdest one like i don't even know why i got so personal with super monkey ball like you would you would think like maybe um a childhood game or a something more relaxing like I don't know Animal Crossing or whatever. With yourself, I was that was that was all of it. That was the source of a stupid face reveal. <laughs> okay, let me put something on the screen. Okay. Oh shit! You know who's okay? Okay, Aki Yammer, By the way, I don't know if you see this. I still have this here. By the way, um, you talk about Royal Rumble. I know who won. Do you know who won Royal Rumble? It was Michael Jackson. It was... It was Michael Jackson. Okay, check it. Take this out, dude. I love this video so much. Did it do did, did, did the work? Did it do work? I love this video so much. There are many videos of this guy. This, this is Santana Jackson, by the way. This is a guy... Yeah, okay, we, we don't talk about Crypt anymore. <laughs> we... Okay, before leaving, let me put something on the screen. Okay, watch out for the Sajima jump scare. Fuck you! There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> yeah, I know Chris Benoit. Listen, I grew up with that era of WWE, okay? I grew up with Batista, Rey Mysterio, Chris Benoit, Randy Orton, John Cena, Edge. 
and many more that I cannot remember right now. I, I was there when Umaga was here. The Undertaker, dude, the Undertaker. Dude, you have no idea how... If there is a stupid video that can make me laugh, it's every, every one of these videos that they like, Chris Benoit returns to the fight, McMahon. <laughs> and you have like McMahon with the microphone, and it's <laughs> talking about whatever. And then suddenly Chris Benoit theme enters and he just shit his pants and then Chris Benoit walks in and we're like, damn, it's Chris Benoit. I love those videos. I think they are bad taste, honestly. I, I really think they are bad taste. But dude, I just, I don't know. I, I think it's so stupid funny. Like Chris Benoit returns to do whatever. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero, I wasn't there. I wasn't there, but I know he was really good. Listen, Eddie Guerrero has really good moments. I have this, this is probably the, one of the most popular ones. I love when he hits the floor with a chair. He throws the chair to the opponent and then he pretends he got hit. And he, the, the referee disqualifies. The, the referee DQs the opponent. I love that one. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, um, you know, for a while I wanted to play WWE as. SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 because I grew up with SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 and people say 2006 is really good I wouldn't mind to just randomly play a wrestling game just to have fun and be going like oh my god he's broken in half he's broken in half <laughs> so the wrestling lore yeah sadly I don't remember much I mean I love wrestling Listen, I love when they jump I love when they drop kick I love when they suplex but sadly, modern day wrestling, I'm lost. 19. 19. Sadly, I, I gave up in 10. I played 7. I played 8. I played 9. And 10, I only played with a friend. I mean, 2000, 2009, 2009. Okay, no. 2007, 2008, 2009, and 2010, I gave up. WWE All Stars. I always wanted to play that way that's like an over-the-top wrestling game you know what what is considered a wrestling game and i want to play Def jam fight for new york i think that's somewhat considered a wrestling game i always wanted to play that one i have no idea of rap and, of rap and hip hop i my knowledge is really small i'm not even a big fan of that kind of music but that game looks really fun in the pandemic dude i remember we stopped watching when dude i when i stopped watching dean ambrose had beef with seth rollins i remember that i remember the huge beef with dean ambrose and seth rollins when the seal break when the seal broke and they were trying put to push roman reigns and he was like really bad which, as far as you know, Roman Reigns nowadays is really, really good. Which is really, really great to see how he improve. Yeah, that was really fun, dude. I really like Dean Ambrose. I don't know if he's in New Japan progressing right now. I don't know if he's still in All Elite Wrestling Dynamite. But I really enjoy Dean Ambrose. Real Rumble. His little re his title range sucks ass. He's in All Elite Wrestling, nice. Yeah, I mean, I would love to watch wrestling, but the problem is, uh, the, the thing is, sub paid subscription just to watch, maybe because maybe I will just watch the fights and move on, or maybe just play the events. I mean, in the you know what they watch in the pandemic? All oh, this, dude, dude, I watched this with my friends. I mean, not all of them, because it was really late. We watched WrestleMania 2020. Dude, that was a wonderful moment. Men's Royal Rumble this year. It's that bad. It's that bad. Yeah, nowadays. Okay, before moving, because this is something I want to talk. This was when I because I gave up with WWE and then I came back because it came back to TV. I remember watching. He had that artist fair to him. Oh yeah, I remember. I mean, when I watched WWE, I mean, when I stopped watching WWE, he just stopped. I don't remember his name, but he was really good. Eli yeah, Elias. Or Elias. I barely watch things with that guy. I really that like, he was really cool. Yeah, people say that the Logan Paul match was really, really good, which it was like 
really? <laughs> really, Logan Paul? Oh shit, you know what I would love to see? I found this really, really late. I wanted to see when Samoa Joe got into WWE. Dude, Samoa Joe with a microphone, that's a one dangerous dude. He got, there is a video on YouTube when he, it's like Roman Reigns is talking shit with, um, oh shit, what was his name? The Beast. Dude, who, who, dude I love this guy. I, I joke with The Beast a lot. Um, look, how could I forget his name? Brock Lesnar. Fuck you, Frog Lesnar. Fuck you! <laughs> then it was like NXT. Uh, I never watch NXT. Listen, when it comes to wrestling shows, the only watch I the only one I watch is WWE because it was on TV. That's it. People say NXT had really, really good years, like even better than WWE. And NXT was like what you need to do before getting to WWE. Yeah, exactly. Between 2016 and 2018. I remember that. People saying that they were really, really good. But this Samoa Joe thing I wanted to say. There is like a video that Roman Reigns is talking mad shit to Brock Lesnar. And then um, Samoa Joe comes in. And dude, it gets mental with the microphone. It gets to the point that it looks like they're not acting anymore. They like actually hated each other. And they're about to fight. It's so good. NXT 2.0. Oh. I remember watching TNA for a, for a while. By the way, the TNA I watched, it was really weird because the, the, the commentators, they were clowns. Like, they were doing weird names. They were doing weird translations. It was weird. It was really, really weird. Okay, something I wanted to say before uh, I start talking about Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar. One of the things that got me really, really... Well, they wrestling sucks, for real. <laughs> the UFC, yeah, that's another topic. I'm, I, UFC, is, it's, for me, it's weird because I enjoy when they beat the, the shit out of each other, but sometimes they just grab each other and they try to do the, you know, the triangle and look for the submission. I don't really enjoy UFC for that. I mean, it's a strategy. It's how you win. You grab the guy from the arm and it's like, you give up or I break your arm. You, you chose. <laughs> so, I mean, they are fighting smart, which I understand. But I like when they're just punching each other in the face. Brock Lesnar was in the UFC for a while. Okay, but before I forget, something I wanted to say. When I stopped watching WWE and I came back, one of the things I like the most is that um, female wrestling was real now. I grew up watching the divas the wwe divas and let me tell you something those fights were god awful those fights wasn't even fight it was two girls with really really short clothing slapping each other a little bit and that's it that's a fight much holloway so when i gave i came back and it was like dude the women are actually fighting now and they have stories and they have cool moves like dude charlotte flair i really like that one and my favorite asuka dude asuka i really really like her there's something about mexican and japanese wrestling that automatically i like them and when i find out that asuka got into a gimmick that um it's a cry baby <laughs> i for what i don't know how it's doing these days but when i watched her he, she was really cool asuka yeah, Asuka. Very much like for real. Dude, I love Asuka. She was so cool. And she had... Dude, when I find out that she had this gimmick that she spits acid... Listen, I love... This is something that you don't see that often. I know this, this is a Tekken move. There was a Tekken move from Armor King that he spits acid. Like a mist. That's something you don't see that often for from wrestling. That's a Japanese thing. But when I find out that Asuka paints her face like some kind of Japanese goes or something and she spit acid like she's the best one i don't care i honestly really really enjoyed watching asuka fight i really really like, i'm not even kidding it was so much fun i don't know what is, is she still in wwe or she move out 
I mean, Echops is fine. Because I, I'm not even kidding. One of the reasons I really enjoyed the female, I think she's still in WWE, oh, nice. One of the reasons I really, really enjoyed the female wrestling in WWE was Charlotte and Asuka. There are many good girls. Like, I know they have this girl called The Boss. I mean, it's been a while, so I don't remember that much. But I remember there was like a girl with this red hair. She was really good, too. There was a, a girl that was really, really fun to watch. Sasa Banks, maybe that, got that one. New Japan progressing. Oh. Literally anime. <laughs> Literally anime. Dude, Japan, Japanese wrestling is really fun. Do you know what was my first ever experience with a Japanese wrestling? So that was funny. There was this wrestler that was um it was a doll. Like let me let me check this out. There was a Japanese wrestler that was an inflatable doll. I'm not even kidding. I think it's here. You see Hiko. Okay, I don't like this pixel. Let me uh, give me let me show you this guy real quick. This is one of my first ever experiences with wrestling. It was this guy. That's a, that was a wrestler. That's a doll. That's an inflatable doll and he fought. How did that guy fought? Don't ask me. Let me tell you something. It was interesting. It was interesting to watch the guy. <laughs> Dude, but there's so many weird Japanese stuff. Like, I mean, Japanese wrestling, I remember New ja the official New Japan Pro Wrestling channel, sometimes they give you free fights and they are really, really fun to watch. I remember, I don't remember many of them, but they were really good, honestly. How many wins? I think he became champion. Okay, let's go to his wiki. Let, okay, I'm on his wiki. The the original Yoshihiko was killed? was killed during a match by an Antonio Honda knee drop which caused his death his head to burst open he died on the ring he died on the ring what what he fucking died the second Yoshihiko was another love doll this one modified to resemble the great Muta this second Yoshihiko also met an untimely demise when a giant swing delivered by Kenny Omega sent Yoshihiko flying from the ring, splitting his head open and revealing the cotton stuffing within. Kenny Omega killed the second one. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Like, listen, it's here. This is real. This is real wrestling lore. During that very same match, the third Yoshihiko made his debut. This Yoshihiko wore clothes, clothes similar to The Undertaker during his American Badass gimmick and entered to the same entrance music that The Undertaker had used. This version of Yoshihiko was later shot to death by Antonio Honda. He got shot in the ring. A Ford Yoshihiko, a style after Hulk Hogan, debuted shortly thereafter. He got shot in the ring. What the fuck is this? Akihiro. Keiji Muto. This guy, I think this guy is from Yakuza. Check this. Okay, give name. Dude, okay, let me let me check something real quick. Yoshihiko shot to death. 
Kirin of Yoshihiro Hattori. Oh, wait, that's a real one. That's a real thing. I mean, I don't know if it will get copyright claim. Wait, I'm getting Yoshihiko shot to death. I, I got the... When Abe died. Wait, Abe. I don't want to see that. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I can show the match because, you know, copyright claim. But yeah, I can watch it, like, without showing it. As far as I know, you can post links on the chat, right? Like, no one ever did before. <laughs> so, pretty sure you can do it. And if you can't, then just, just see the thing and I look for it. But yeah, really nice, really, really nice. Oh, man. I just got into my mind something different. It's the... Um, ACW, I think it was the... Maybe you guys know, know it's the guy that goes... Jesus! It was five of them! It took five of them! Just this pain! <laughs> I think it was dancing. Okay, my second here. By the way, if I'm not looking at the... I mean, if you send the link, tell me, because I don't know if YouTube removed links or something. Wait, can you guys listen to this? This is Robbie Marino, CZW with Zandig. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? What do you mean what happened? What are you, blind? Jesus! There was five of them! It took five of them! Justice this Pain! Justice Pain! Oh, hate Club! <laughs> oh, the Hate Club's dead! Nick Gage! Nate Hager! Who do you think you are? Nobody does this to Zandig! Nobody does this to White Peter! Zandig, White Peter, Nick Mondo! We are the most ultraviolet force on the face of the earth! Oh my! Oh my! Oh! Yo, you. you're gonna die! Oh, I... You are gonna die! I guarantee it! <laughs> you... I am gonna kill you! Um! Stowa! Stowa! You people have not seen anything! This is just the start of fake you TV! I am the ultraviolet icon! This is Robbie Marino! This is CZW, the most violent federation on the face of the earth! You just wait and see how far we're gonna go! I'm out of here! <sighs> wait, okay, guess what song is on the feed, by the way? <laughs> okay, uh, okay, what, what do we have? Hey, David, welcome, dude! You just missed the realest stream I ever did, probably for a while. Uh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Uh, okay, you send the link, I guess YouTube removed links automatically. Invisible Man versus Invisible Stan. Dude, what the fuck is this? From Jojo Super Bizarre 3. That's a, that's a real wrestling channel. What the fuck is this? And there are I mean, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to risk showing this because, you know. I think this is copyrighted by Game Changer Wrestling, so I don't want to risk anything. But, um... Oh, shit, he has... He has to give off! What the fuck? They are fucking crazy, dude. He just leave the guy up the balcony and threw him off. I, mean, I don't know if it was Invisible Stan or Invisible Man, but... Holy shit. Okay, that's Stan. Okay, we hate Stan, okay? We hate Invisible Stan. We hate Invisible Stan. Wait, can I just... Okay, maybe I can... Maybe some things can sell, but who knows? Okay, give me a second. Give me a second here. Give me a tiny second here. Let's try to do a thing. Uh... Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, if I disappear, um Game Changer Wrestling got me. Check this out, check this out. They're, they're all the way oh for fuck's sake, dude. Them 
You see, he's, he's lifting. I don't know who, who's that, but think that <laughs> He's fucking dead. <laughs> he's fucking dead. Okay, he just freeze. Okay, I don't know if this, I will get copyright claim really hard or something. But they. Okay, one, two. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck. Dude. What the fuck? Who are these guys? Oh, dude. Where these guys came from? Is that really good? They were like turning, they were pinning each other up real quick. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, we have the chair, we have the chair, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, he throw him off. Okay, what is this? Most reproducido. Most reproducido. Dude, I swear, if this channel disappears, if this channel disappears, because of fucking invisible man versus invisible. <gasps> he's dead. They know he's dead. Two. He's dead. Call, call a medical now. Call a fucking doctor right now. No, it's, it's way too late. Call a priest. It's way too late. It's way too late. What? What a nice fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that was a good fight. Very kinda of gruesome. Maybe a little way too gruesome, but hey. Imagine just two pain just for the referee. <laughs> Stay sweet for that. Yeah, but I think if I guess it depends of the guy. I guess it depends of who is re who has the copyright i'm listen for example i don't know if you can react to wwe things listen just say if tomorrow this channel is bunnies or do you know what happened invisible mon got me invisible stan got me <laughs> what the fuck is this stream dude monkey ball lore sadness setup reveal and now some wrestling <laughs> This is the weirdest stream I've ever done, by far. And now we have like Dave Dave Sayima right here. Best stream ever recorded. Yeah, <laughs> take a picture. <laughs> you better save the stream. You better not love it. Oh wow. <laughs> you know I had a lot of fun today. That's that I got that on me. Not only for the monkey ball. I mean, Super Monkey Ball was really fun, but yeah, talking here, talking about whatever, talking about life, talking about wrestling, talking about Daska. It was really fun. I had a lot of fun. You guys are also a big part of having fun, you know? This is something that... Um, did you know? Having people in a chat room makes fun. Wow, big surprise. Actually, no, no. I mean... Do I really want to react to stuff? I mean... Okay, okay. A spam is calling me right now to the cell phone. Okay, shout outs to the guy that created on the phone uh, to know which which number is spam and which one is not. Like, thank you so much to whoever created that. I don't know, dude. I, I mean, the thing is, create a reaction channel. Ooh. Similar to your content. Oh, so some, some Turkish with broken English play Yakuza games. <laughs> Games in Twitch. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you really want to grow and you want the numbers and you want the stuff, you go to Twitch. I, as I always say, I, I don't give a flying fuck. I don't give a single fuck out numbers. I get here. I go, I do my thing. If you guys do want to have fun with me, then cool. That's I really appreciate you guys. But yeah, this is so fun. Okay, we found the Turkish version of me. Okay, you heard of Cowboy Macaque. Now you have Outlaw Dolphin. <laughs> okay, who is this Outlaw Dolphin, huh? Who is that? 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to do, dude. I'm even, I'm even surprised I'm here for one year. And it's now, it's one year later when this channel is getting numbers. Into his channel. Uh, I think YouTube chat hates when you send links. I don't know if you can edit that somehow. Because I, I'm, I can't even see them. I cannot even see links. And I'm like the, the ultimate authority. Not even the streamer can watch the links. I, don't, I mean, you can just put the name. But as far as you know, I'm looking if... I, I think there's no option about uh, if you want to show links. No block. No block. No block. I mean, the thing is, if I, I cannot watch people these days. I mean, I barely watch people. No, okay, anyway, he's a dolphin. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. If he, um, if he speaks Turkish, I can listen to nothing. Yeah, I found the guy. I found the guy. Not Gundem. He's like, oh, he's playing Dead Space. Birçok insan PlayStation 3 oyununda için herhangi okay, bir remake ve remaster versiyonlarına gereksiz olduğunu düşünüyor. Ama ben pek öyle düşünmüyorum. Bence PlayStation 3 Okay, that's Turkish, all right. I mean, I have no idea. Oh, sorry, I know nothing of Turkish. I, I don't even know how to read that. Oynanması sıkıntılı bir oyun. İlk başta tabii ki boyun bilgisayarda sıkıntısız bir deneyim sunmalı. İki, grafik. PlayStation 5 dönemine geldik. İlk iki tane jenerasyon. Zıvalığı bitiyor. Ben ana karakter falan değilim. Okay, that's Turkish, right? <laughs> that is, that is indeed a language. <laughs> sorry, I don't understand Turkish. I mean, I only understand Spanish, English, and if I understand it English, I can have like a really, really big understanding of Portuguese and Italian because it's kind of similar. By kind of, I mean, there's a huge, huge kind of, okay? But yeah, I mean, I know basic one of the languages. <laughs> I know like basic, basic Japanese stuff because, okay, here's a fun fact. Um. I learned hiragana and katakana because I was bored. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I, I mean, if Japanese work with three alphabets, you have hiragana, katakana, and kanjis. I, I memorized the entirety of hiragana and katakana because I was bored. Love language in Turkish. And you know, I mean, I would like to learn Japanese. It's one of the languages I always like. I Portuguese, Italian, and Japanese were always like languages I really enjoyed. I mean, if I really going to split stream Kensan as I said at the beginning of the stream, then I better learn Japanese. Okay, listen up, guys. I'm saying this right now, right here, right now. I'm going to learn Japanese to play Kensan here. There you go. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy to yeah, I mean they can be a little bit it also depends on the person. I mean I'm not perfect on hiragana and katagana, okay? There's still a few things that if that I don't remember right now, but it, it, it's weird because if I see the hiragana or katagana, I'm like, okay, that's what it means, that's the one. But if you tell me, okay, what is this? Like nu in hiragana? I don't remember right now. Maybe I do. It's weird. I mean, I really doubt that at some point in my life. Still fucks me up though. You see, there, there are some that it's hard to get, especially if they don't use it that anymore, that often. I mean, learning a language is always hard. It doesn't matter which one it is. The problem with the Japanese one for me is that it has nothing to do with, you know, like Spanish, English, French. That they use their own thing. This way, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. And people say learning kanjis is awful. Um, I enjoy learning kanjis. I'm one of those weirdos that when I see a kanji, like, dude, what is that kanji? I look for the kanji. I look how, what it meant. I look what it does. like, damn, this is fun. You cannot beat Michael Jackson in disco. There's, there's no way you can beat Michael Jackson in the disco because 
I think the max combo is 63. He do 66. The, you cannot beat Michael Jackson on this goal. You see? The encounter finder. Yeah, the, the disco is the reward, by the way. The the encounter finder is the I, I think it was the black box. Yeah, makes take a look online and make sure. But yeah, learning kanji is fun. Like, I mean, I have a lot of. I use Duolingo. That was my beginning to learn Japanese. I use Duolingo and then I use a little bit of. Uh, I think it's called Rosetta Stone. No, Anki. I used Anki for a while to learn a few kanjis. Anki. And then I just, you know, I just do stuff. I just look kanji. Oh, I did memory is kanji. It's an anki right now. I mean, I'll say kanji. Anki works. Oh, no, no aniki. Anki. <laughs> anki. I mean, the thing is, this is, as, I mean, this is probably a um, idol. Maybe you know more Japanese than I do. But as far as I can say, if you know what the kanji means, you, you can have a, like, a knowledge of what the conversation is. Like, maybe you don't have the right verbal tense. Maybe you don't have everything. But just by learning the kanji and maybe a few words here and there. Like, they say, like, are or algo así. Something like that. Like, <laughs> you can have a slight idea what they're talking about or what is going on. Maybe it's me. Maybe just talking with my ass. But I feel like that. I, oh, this kanji means that. And you have, hmm, maybe this is what they mean. But you know, it's hard. I mean, I remember I downloaded the Fire Emblem, uh, the one with Roy. I always get the name confused. I think it's Binding Blade, I think. I got the game in Japanese. I was like, damn, it's in Japanese because I wanted to play the game in Japanese to learn the, to maybe learn something. I was like, nah. I actually knew about a few words. I I, I know what the, the kanji of pick up something, the Tori. Because I played Resident Evil 3 in Japanese. I got the, I got the Dreamcast version, a uh, Dreamcast emulator with the Resident Evil 3. And I played the Japanese version. And I learned a few words like bullet and... Yeah. And, and police officer, by the way. It was tight slow. I mean, that's super cool. I mean, learning a language is always really cool. It doesn't matter if you want to. I mean, I'm not going to like... One of the reasons I would like to learn Japanese was to... Jokes aside, it's what is to play Yakuza Kenshin, and games that are exclusive to Japan. Like, I'm a huge as video game nerd. There are games exclusive to Japan, so if you want to play that game and understand the game, you need to learn Japanese. So that's a problem, <laughs> you know. Kenshin most are terrifying. I mean, remember, the first PS3 game is Kenshin. It's not the Jagusa 1, 2, 3, Kensan. It's 1, 2, Kensan, and then 3. Learn Arabic. The Arabic would be nice. I mean, learning another language would be awesome. It doesn't matter which one it is. In my case, I try to learn Japanese, and I still do. Like, sometimes I watch kanji, I try to do something. I mean, I, I told to myself that even if just maybe watching something in Japanese or whatever, it's good enough. Dude, there's a new season of... Home Husband Jagusa. I was, I mean, I watched, I watched the first season and every chapter, every, yeah, every episode in the second season on the, with my dub, not the English one, not Japanese, with my, with the Spanish dub. That's a fun one. Maybe I should watch that in Japanese, just for the memes. I don't know if you guys watch Goku Fushudo. Goku Shufudo, that's a really fun one. Thank you in Japanese. <laughs> Dude, you learn how to say, Koi. Dude, we play Jagusa 5, you know, Dream is Jume. Okay? We play Jagusa 5, that's my favorite one, you know? <laughs> Bring that shit, Kazuma! Sorry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out of here. Um. Burakumonde, yeah. <laughs> what <was that? laughs> Mine is on the rooftop. Yeah, that's the that's the katakana. Yeah, that was a fun. That was um, he said learning a language is tough, but it's fun. At least I have fun when learning Japanese. I mean, sometimes, I mean, there are days harder than others. Kyodai, Jondaime, and Noriu. How about um, 
Aquí llamas Downtown. Nanda o Maya. Vamos, that one. Nanda o Maya. And Balls Out. We learn Balls Out. Since then. Nanda o Raka. Dude, in, in here, there was a year where you are forced to learn France. French. I don't like French. Listen, I'm a Spanish. Getting the French is in my blood. That's a joke, okay? That's a joke. I don't hate the French. Okay. It, it was a joke. Disclaimer. It was a joke. It, it was a joke. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't, don't tell me you're French. Don't tell me you're French. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a silly joke. Cancellation. You got me. Listen, Spain as France is something like Sweden and Norway. There is hate. I mean, I don't hate anyone. I don't care. Listen, I think hating someone for where we are from or some shit like that is just stupid. There are many reasons to hate someone, but you, you shouldn't hate someone for what he is, for something that he cannot change. That's just stupid, okay? <laughs> You can hate someone for what they sue us or some shit like that. For the most stupid shit. But you just cannot hate someone for something he cannot change. But hey, that's just my opinion. Whatever, who gives a fuck? But yeah, what a weird day, huh? What a, what a, you will think, as I said, this, this, this is a conversation I would expect it on the anniversary of the channel. Maybe playing some relaxing game, like Animal Crossing or whatever. Maybe something like, I don't know, a, an old game, like Tenchu. I love Tenchu. I want to get Tenchu in here at some point. But, um, damn. Fucking Monkey Ball got me. Spanish is a foreign language. <laughs> People say Spanish is kind of tough. Let me tell you the real challenge of learning Spanish. The real challenge. Every single country that speaks Spanish eh, speaks Spanish in a different way. Eh, Spain's Spanish is not the same as Mexico's, Argentina's, Cuba, Peru. It's still the language, it's still Spanish. But dude, there's so many differences that you're gonna be like, whoa, what is going on? And not only that, even in Spain, people speak, speak Spanish with a different Ansen or intonation or maybe they choose different words just because they are different part of Spain This language is fucking busted This language is broken That's the true challenge But hey, I mean if you like it, it's up to you like I mean sadly I cannot say anything. It's my, it's my native language. Okay, it's not like I Cannot see how hard it is It's it's said that when you are a child learning languages is really easy would you know, I mean, I was always close to English when I was a kid. As I always said, I, le I learned English with... I learned English with YouTube and... Yeah, I was like, I tell you, yeah, exactly. Listen, I was, English, I, I was always attached with English with... Me gusta, <laughs> me gusta. Listen, I'm gonna... Okay, good example. This A Spanish guy would read and, and he will say, Me gusta Yakuza, okay? Me gusta Yakuza. But maybe some guy from Mexico, since they had a different intonation stuff, they would say, me gusta Yakuza. Maybe that's too exaggerated. Me gusta Yakuza. Because they said, they said for, me, for Latinos, they're also like an S. So it's like, it's a disaster of a language, okay? I, I cannot even kidding. It's a disaster of a language. But it's fun. Like, insulting people in Spanish is really fun. <laughs> that's what everyone says. It's, it's Spanish insults are really good. Disney and Discovery documentaries. Oh, you see? Oh, I learned English when I was a child. I would learn English with Disney and Discovery documentaries. I learned English with YouTube poops. <laughs> I learned... <laughs> I don't even know if you guys are old enough to know what a YouTube poop is. That, that's like 2007, 2008 YouTube era. Te amo. It's te. I mean, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but te is te. I mean, that's okay. Just, uh, listen, I'm not going to teach Spanish. Listen, okay, okay, boys. 
there's a new dude it's a new chain of plans we're gonna have stream resident evil 4 remake and i'm gonna teach you how to speak spanish <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> English with Minecraft. Listen, the point is, we all learn English. Yeah, certified Spanish Maco. Uh, you played Resident Evil 4? Detrás de ti, imbecil. God, the, the, the, the zombies' voices in Resident Evil 4 is insane. It's so bad. It's, it's, so, it's not even Spanish Spain. It's not even Mexico Spanish. It's, it's just something. It's weird. Now in the remake, they actually speak, speak Spanish, Spanish, and that's really fun. That's really, damn, I'm suiting myself as Leon S. Kennedy. <laughs> but, yeah, they, oh, dude, I should voice in Monster or something, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a random side note, just to tell you how interesting the vo the zombie noises on Resident Evil 4 is. Um, in, the, in the castle, there is one zombie that says, it's hora de asplastar, like. Asplastar is not a word. Like, that doesn't exist. Aplastar, on the other hand, it exists. It means to crash, to smash. I mean, it's, I guess it's to crash. So he's trying to say it's time to crash, but for some fucking reason, when they were doing the song, the voices, they were like, es hora de asplastar. <laughs> I sometimes remember that and I, and I laugh with a friend. It's hora de asplastar. I mean, the right word is aplastar. Just, just remove that S at the beginning and you're fine. It's like you said, it's time to cook grass. That it's time to do, do, do, do. Yeah, you know. Interesting. It's hora de comer. It's hora de comer. There's a, there's a few videos like that. It's lunchtime, did you know? Yeah, I do know. Okay, guys, it's time to promote myself. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> I know. Listen up, <laughs> fucking monkey ball. This is the weird, and all of this, all of this, with this gentleman on the screen. Like damn, I don't even know how this happened. Like we all, we all, we all started with monkey ball. Then life happened. Then wrestling, and now we're talking all languages. And it's hora de asplastar. It's, not... it's hora, dude. There's like, hola, hey, what's up? Hola, flying ship, oveja voladora, by the way. Oveja voladora is on the chat, boys. It's a deep ass sub story. <laughs> the weirdest sub story you can find. Okay, this has to be at least sub story sixty nine. Come on. Come on, Sub Story 69. Sora de Asplastar. <laughs> Dude, that's a line of the game. Dude, I fucking swear. What is the YouTube? I'm really excited for Resident Evil 4 Remake, by the way. I love Resident Evil. I have no plans of streaming the game, by the way. I think it just... I have no time. To get to the station. Uh, see a lot, boys. Okay. If it's way too loud, I'm sorry. No dejas que, oh, esca shit, no de dejas que escape de la isla vivo. <laughs> no dejes que escape de la isla vivo. Allí está. Cerebro, cerebro, <laughs> Dude, cerebro. This one, the, the one he said talking right now. The cerebro, cerebro, cerebro. That is so stupid. The cerebro means. Cerebro. I mean, he's trying to say cerebro. That's the real word. Cerebro means brain. So, do we have this Resident Evil zombie, this, this ganado, this cultist ganado going, brain, brain, brain. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, we need the order to splastar. Cogedlo. Cogedlo. Yeah. This is kind of nervous, honestly. Yeah, Morir es Vivir. That's a classic one. Morir es Vivir. I don't know if you guys played Resident Evil 4. 
It's really good. Morires, vivirs. To live is to die. Where is apl Asplastar? Morires, vivir. No! Morires, es hora de Asplastar. Muere, muere, Come on! Muere, muere. Muere, muere, muere, muere, muere, muere, muere. Sí, quiero matar. Ya es hora de Asplastar. Where did he just say? Did you see that guy? I was about to say. Niven is still living. Oh, shoot! Okay, this man. Has the any. This dude has revealed himself as Spanish skipping in gentleman. You delayed, you, you delayed yourself. He has the any. He has the proof. He has the proof. <laughs> okay, but one of these zombies just said. They say, yes, I want to kill. Like, que si, quiero matar. That's, that means, yes, I want to kill. He said that, he said that, he said that. Ya es hora de asplastar. Ya es hora de asplastar. That means it's time to asplastar. Demonis, demonic ass, black magic. See, this is Resident Evil 4. This is fucking Resident Evil 4. I'm really excited for the remake. I don't know if you guys, if you guys are in there for the game. I'm going to play it. As I said, I have no plans of streaming it because I don't even know. But I'm going to get the game and going to enjoy it. Yeah, there you go. It's hora de asplastar. Es hora de asplastar. Ya es hora de asplastar. It is time to asplastar. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I mean, a squeeze, I guess, in this case, crash is better C-R-U-S-H, I guess. Because, I mean, I guess he's trying to crash Leon, Leon or something with the shield, I guess. Es hora de asplastar. <laughs> es hora de asplastar. <laughs> or I really like the guy asking for Terebros. Terebro. Cerebro, cerebro. I did what they say. This is not the Spain's Spanish. It's just, it's like Latinos, is La Latin America Spanish, but not really. It's really, really weird. It's a Spanish no one agrees with. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? No dejas que escape de la isla vivo. Oh, what the fuck is this? Some guy with broken English plays Super Monkey Ball? That, that's not like an asshole guy. Who the fuck, who the fuck is that on my feet? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Funny how every every video on my feed is either one of my videos or Yakuza Karaoke. Like, check out what's on the feed right now. Nice. Okay, I, I think I time to... Okay, before leaving... It's a beautiful cover. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to show you something. I'm because I don't know what time I maybe I never get in my hands to by the way, quick question. No, he's in you open him Spain. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're actually true. The it all started with a, when a face reveal happened. Two wars, three wars that changed the stream forever. Face reveal when <laughs> everything went downhill. Okay, there's something I want to do because I don't know if I will show this. I found this recently. Okay, a quick question. If I send a link on Twitch, can you guys watch it? Because I, I'm the streamer. I guess I have like, I can do whatever I want, I guess. But you guys, YouTube hates when you guys send links. But I found these videos. Because uh, I don't know what time um, Yakuza Ising will be unlocked for me. Because in Spain, a Steam update at 7 p.m. Which I don't know if that also includes games unlocking. Because I don't know if I can see the time I have for Yakuza in two unlocks. I really hope to have the game ready at least at my usual streaming schedule. But, but I think sometimes at 5, it just... 
happens. So maybe I never saw this. Maybe I will. I have some bullshit in the background to, to happen while the game installs it that happens. And this is some guy on YouTube called Klaus, which I think is a, a fantastic guy. Well, let me check if they can see an actual time for that. Okay, Yagusa Isin. February 21st. Okay, boys, February 21st is uh, Isin time. It's Isin time. But uh, it just said two weeks. In two weeks, the games will be unlocked. But there's no time. So I guess I really hope to get the game unlocked by my usual streamer schedule. If I need to wait for one hour, I may just say close is great. So you probably know this. I have these wonderful covers that go with the channel, and it's like they are so good. I just found it. I just found this out recently. They are so good. They just they are. <laughs> This goes so well with this channel. This is Iji Sakura, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I love this cover so much. Dude, I need to subscribe. Okay, Klaus, the, you, this guy has the only subscription of Kawamaka at this point. There you go. Thank you, Cloud. I really, really like these covers. Dude, these are, these are really, really good. <laughs> these are so, so good. The guy's name is Klaus, just like Akiyama just typed Klaus. It's just like that. You type Yakuza Klaus cover and you have you have done. He has some really, really good ones. He has this one that really speaks to me. I mean, I'm not going to put all of them, but I just want to show them. Probably you guys know this already, but for me it was new and it, just, it was amazing. It was really, really good. You do not <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Okay, this, he also got one with Sejima with Diamond 5, but they, just this one. The beginning of this one is amazing. Oh, nice, that dude. I mean, his name is just close. He, uh, his profile picture just kill you with a cowboy hat and a mustache. He has... He, he doesn't only have cowboy covers. He has, like... Like, this one that is, like... Yeah, Bakamitai, but this persona and stuff like that. I, today is a diamond, but the genre keeps changing. It's, he's really, really good. The only thing I know for real, but it's a bossa nova cover. It's really, really good. Okay, this is just the last one. I mean, he has five of cowboy... <laughs> Machine, I only listen to the cowboy ones, honestly. Only, I only listen to the Machine Anki, but Yashi Machine Anki's. Okay, I want the Kiryu version. Oh, shit. Now we're playing Midnight Shadow. Midnight Shadow. Okay, I okay, I dislike it because he's using a Yakuza 5 pixel. Dislike, I don't. Klaus, you fail me. You fail me, Klaus. This is my song, dude. I learned this song grinding Jagusa like a dragon to get the platinum. <laughs> I 
Remember kids, all of this started because someone asked for a face cam. Wait, wait, wait, wait, I got this? Perfect. Get the fuck out of there. Nice, now, now we're dancing. This is really, really good. I said, like, see nada. Okay, one more. One more for living. I mean, guys. Guys, come on. Do you know which one this is? It's more good. This is awesome, dude. I mean, the, the guy's channel is this one. I don't know if you can see the link, but that's the dude's YouTube channel. Feel free to hit subscribe, to hit like, to hit, leave some comments on his videos, but this, this are really, really good covers. I don't know, dude. Listen, whoever, who, whoever it was, same on you. Oh, break in the world. <laughs> so he's singing with Nisiki. There was a one version. He won me one version. <laughs> one of the things of all time. That's it, no. Judgment. I swear, if this song is not in Yakuza A with Kiryu and Ichiban, I'm gonna tiger drop myself. I'm gonna tiger drop myself to rip off my own soul. I will eat my soul. I will find the Yakuza director and I'm gonna... As soon as he opens his mouth to say, who the fuck is this guy in Japanese, I'm gonna come and give him. I'm gonna come back in party as soon as he speaks to me. Come on. Nisuki. Oi, oi, oi. This is actually really, really good. Yay! Yami Macaxo, so yeah, I'm gonna eat my own soul. We are bad boys. This song is 100,000 special subscribe, by the way. This song is on the list of the milestones. This one is, yeah, 100,000 is. A ball between this one and 20 Pau Cinderella. I mean, that's never going to happen, let's be realistic here. And if that happens, fuck the ball, I'll sing both, okay? You heard this here, first force. If I ever reach 100,000 subscribers, fuck the ball, I'll sing 24 hours and this song. You have two for one. Judgment. No, Judgment will be here like. Later in the year. Okay, enough enough music. Okay, thank you, Klaus. You are a really cool guy. But yeah, you have okay, you can stop dancing now. Let me have um I have like nothing to put in the background while. But maybe have a back a situation like they have something. Let me look for something. I mean, I, listen, whatever. I, I'm supposed to be living now. I'm supposed to be living. <laughs> let's, just, let's just have uh, Kiryu dancing here and, and Majima. And that's it. Yeah, the, listen, dude. 
Pero you guys weren't here on the Yakuza 4. I mean, it's one of the Yakuza... I mean, listen, I don't know which one is. It's a Danimura stream when I did the 100% run of the of Yakuza 4. Um, I sent something by name. What, a link or something? You mean a link, a something, or a video, or, or what? Just name. Open this. What the fuck is this, my good friend? Uh, that's anime. I mean, YouTube says it's anime. It's a song or something? It's like an, an, an anime opening or something? But there's Kiryu here. Or is, or is this a Yakuza battle? This is this is battle theme. This is for whose sake? Yeah, that I got something. This is Nisiki's battle theme from the original Yakuza. Right? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years in the joint. Fuck you! Ten years. Ten years. Ten years in the joint. Fuck you! Ten years. Ten years. Ten years in the joint. Fuck you! Ten years. In, ten years. Ten years in the joint. Fuck you! Bring that shit, Kazuma! Bring that! Bring that! Bring! Bring that shit, Kazuma! Ten years in the joint. Ten years in the joint. Ten years in the joint. Fuck you! Ten years in the joint. Ten years in the joint. Okay, enough. Yeah, this is really different. Do you want to listen to the Kiwami one? This is Kiwami's version. For whose sake, Peturi fucked you guy and Nishigi. <laughs> is it? Oh, it's easy. Is it Nishin too? Holy shit. Dude, I cannot wait for Isin. Yeah, it sounds different. Okay, guys, there's something. Okay, before. I still believe it for a while. I still have gone a lot while now, but. Listen, there's something I want to say. Yeah, for your sake. Shit, I just. There you go. Um. Okay, I found... Okay. I found this inversion. Oh, it, it's the same, but classic Japanese. Dude, I cannot wait for this in, dude. This game is going to be fun. It's, it's not like one of those Klaus covers. <laughs> the, the original one... Listen, the, listen, let me tell you something. There is one song that I really like. Okay, take this out. This is Kiwami's battle theme. I mean, you know this one. You know this battle theme. Ten years in the theme, but, but old school. You know this battle theme. You know, pim pim pim, pim pim pim, pim pim. This is. You know this one. You know this one. I honestly like the original more. I I don't even I I don't know. Ooh. It just uh, I just like it more. Oh dude, Mabuchi's battle theme? Oh boy. Okay, this is the time we, we talk about soundtracks. But this one I swear I love how the original sounds. This is the original one. Remember, one week like February February? Read run to Yagusa one to fight that one. It's just oh it's just so good. I like it more than the original, than the Kiwami. I know this is so good. It's so good. We need the team. We need that one. Okay, I think it's, it, it, that's good much shit on the screen. I'm sorry. Wait, the seed you wait, Majima's battle theme in the original. 
Oh shit, this place Someone's gonna get suplexed on a railing Oh Okay, listen, if I had more time This is when I will start the Tier list of the battle themes Seats just go down Okay, boys, real question. Favorite battle theme? Oh, well, maybe not bad favorite battle theme, but w which battle is your favorite? Listen. For one of the best ones for me is this one. This one for me is one of the best battle themes in the franchise. Okay, not, not with the intro, I just want the battle theme. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, this listen, this one, this battle theme, this battle theme, this is Jagus Asiro, this battle theme, that's it, there's nothing more to say. Dude, when you get this, this style and the music plays and you start beating everyone with this in the back, it's like, oh, this is why we play video games. I mean... I don't really enjoy Legend in Jagus Asiro because there's many stuff missing, there's a lot of stuff missing, but still, it's so cool, it's so cool, it's just so good. Okay, there's another battle, there's two more battle teams in Jagus Asiro that I really, really like. Oh shit. Um, okay, I'm sorry, but... This is Jagus Asiro. Outlast Lullaby from Kiwami too, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, we'll listen to those in a second. Let, just, this is also one of my favorites. Let me put the ones I like from Zero. I mean, I also love Jagus as three of them. And there's also Akiyama's Battle Team in five is godlike. But this one is just what I like here is when you're muted in. This part, this part, this part. It's so good. I mean, okay, you said rain. Okay, let me go in order. I mean, receive you. Battle style. I mean, no, I mean regular battle things. I mean, rain. I think rain is a long fight, right? Yeah, this is. I mean, regular fights. Yeah, this, this is the the final fight. This is the the final fight of of Zero for for Majin Buu. Listen, when this place and you're going full mad dog style, just <laughs> now, this is a video game. This is a video game. Okay, old blast, old lost lava. You know what this one is. This song is so good that it's basically the same song in 2, Kiwami 2, and like a dragon. Do this. This sounds something instead of Kabu Vivo. This was really good, this was really good. This one's really this, this song is so good that it's basically the same one from 2, Kiwami 2, and like a dragon. Okay, let me put something I really like. I like the, I like um I like this one from Yagusta 3 a lot. Like Bru like Kamurucho Battle Team from Yagusta 3. I love this one, it's so good. People like um the one from Okinawa more. But this one, yeah. I'll put affected flat fight later. Now, <laughs> now we're now we're missing to Yakuza Battle Team because what the fuck? What is this thing? Dude? What happened? We were playing Monkey Ball. Okay, let me put the the. the... Yeah, this is Jack. I love Yakuza Three. I love Yakuza Three so much.
Okay, uh, before going for a few songs, I mean, I don't have much time, so I'm gonna play a few songs. If you really want me to play something, say it. <laughs> because, wait, why not? Um, bonus sub story battle theme from Jagusa 3, okay? Are you ready? This is Jagusa 3 sub story battle theme. This is, not, this is real. This is real. <laughs> this is what this is what Kiryu listens when he fights Nisiki. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is an place in a few sub stories. It's it's, it's really weird I go with. Listen, listen, listen, listen, listen. J like a dragon. What did you listen fighting Kiryu? What did you listen fighting Kiryu? Holy shit! Holy shit, you fuck. What Kiryu is listening? <laughs> what Kiryu is listening fighting Ichiban? <laughs> You see, this guy get it, skin can get it. This is what you play, this is what good play if you fought Ichiban from Kiryu's perspective in Jagusa 7. This guy get it, gets it. <laughs> Listen, you don't even defeat Kiryu in the Dragon. He just said, okay, I can't know, you win. <laughs> you don't even beat him. That's how you, that's how you know they love Kiryu. Okay, let, let me put a few more, let, let's put Task. Uh, Task. Oh shit. I'm surprised no one said yet the Kuz's battle theme. No one. <laughs> yeah, this is some bosses, right? Or a long fight? Uh, no, this is a long fight battle theme. I mean I meant normal battle themes like the, the Steve of Kamuros and stuff, but it still it's really good. I like to do at some point. This one's really good. Oh shit, receive you the subtype? Oh shit, who just completed the cabaret? Someone just completed Sunshine. And they are fucking beast. <laughs> really good, really good. Okay, let's put Majima Sluggers, a Slugger team. Oh shit, watch out! Dude, it's so cool that this is your reward for beating the, the cabaret. I think it shouldn't be the cabaret because it takes a lot of time, but hey. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going back to task, boys. Oh, más reproducido. Oh, this part! Ooh. Okay, who wants to play Yakuza 0 right now? Who wants to do a reason of Yakuza 0 real quick? <laughs> Dude, the soundtrack in this game is amazing. This, listen, my favorite Kiryu game... My favorite Kiryu game maybe is Kiwami 2. Because I think it's really fun, but... Dude, Yakuza 0 is the best. It is what it is. It, it is what it is. Zero is the best. It may or not be your favorite, but it's just so good. It's just so good. Okay, let, let, okay let's put the a slugger battle team. You know the the one I like from Majima's is Breaker is amazing. I love Breaker. Ooh. Yeah, this one's really cool. 
my problem with the slagger is that the slagger is not really that fun until you unlock the skill that your butt doesn't bounce when you are hit level 3. Before that, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit problematic sometimes. But yeah, I mean, unlike Kiryu, I really enjoy Majima's battle styles. Like, I like swapping them all the time. With Kiryu, as I always said, I'm happy with Brawler. I'm really happy with Brawler. Okay, Tika. Damn. Okay, let's put Breaker part of them. No, not this one. Hey, yo! When I dance it, there you go. So, yeah, I also like that. Listen, I'm basic. I like the like, Brewer punching. That's why I like Brawler. I like that. I like basic punching. And grabbing. And some shit like that. Damn, this one. Hey, yeah! I mean, this song is not the same without Magima going. <laughs> it's not the same with Magima going. <laughs> Nice. Okay, let me let me put one more. Okay, I have I'm thinking of one more, but okay. Listen, okay, this is gonna be the last one because I need to leave. But this one, listen, I can talk about the shit I want about Yakuza 5, but Akiyama's battle theme is so good. Let me find that one part. Like this one, dude. I can talk about the shit I want the... Oh, shit. This doesn't even sound like a Yakuza Battle Team. It sounds like, I swear, it sounds something like from an RPG or whatever. <laughs> it sounds like way too heroic and way too fantasy. Like, I mean, I love it, but dude, I like speed star. That thing, listen, it's not about who is your favorite Yakuza. It's about affected flight or a speed star. This one is more fast and more. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to. Okay, yeah, this was really good too. Also, this, this, this video is using the old Tanimura space, and it's weird. Funny how the old is not the weird. Ooh, who, who, who's calling? It's really good, dude. I mean, listen. Why I love the Yagusa games? I like the gameplay. I like the brutality of the fights. The soundtrack is amazing. That's all I need. I wish, I wish there, would, there were more games like Yakuza in terms of gameplay and soundtrack and everything. I really love them. Let me put that in as well. Okay, there, there's something here. Massive Fire. This song name is Massive Fire. This one is just noise. Maybe it's this, not that many people will like this one. It's just noise. I love them. This song, is a, when you get to the chorus to the, let's say the, the good part. The, I mean, the, the good part is the whole song. And you start doing hit action and you have hit and it's just, Wah! This one, this one, this one. Yeah. Oh. And you start doing hit actions and, and Sanjima just start <laughs> It's so fun. It's so great. I love the Agusa Force so much. I love it. But you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, all those battle themes, all of that, they are dog shit. Okay? They are fucking awful. The only battle theme that matters is this one. This is the only one that matters.
Okay, if you disagree, then you stupid. Why is every single Haruka song so good? Like, why? This is, this, this is one of the Haruka's battle theme. Yeah, it's one of the Haruka's dance battles theme. This is Yakuza 5, dude. This was here a few, a few weeks ago. I mean, I don't blame you. I fell asleep. This is one of the Yakuza's battle theme. The Haruka's battle theme. The one that you do on the dance, on the street battle. Real English song. <laughs> I mean, you can't hear you rapping in English in like Waterfly. Okay, that's it. Listen, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> I think it's time for me to get the get that the fuck out of here and just whatever. Yeah, what a weird strip, huh? We played some monkey ball. We did some balls jokes. Then someone said, "Hey, how about a face reveal?" And everything went downhill. <laughs> everything went to the shit. <laughs> you know, I really had a lot of fun with this stream. I really, really have fun. Have fun. The game was fun. Like the topics conversation were fun. You guys were fun. We all have fun. I hope you guys had a great time too. If I was playing this level. <laughs> listen, listen, as I always say, you don't really need to do anything with the shit I do. I appreciate it, but I mean, adding to five favorites do nothing. <laughs> but you know, what I mean is... Every subscribe, every like, every comment. I mean, I, I'm i not asking for that. You do whatever you want. I don't really care, but I appreciate it, you know. But I hope you had fun. I hope everyone had fun. I really did have fun. This is probably one of my favorite streams. And it's really nice that this is... This is basically the new season of the channel. Because we are one week away for the... Wait, this is not the new season. This is like the, the prologue of the new season. The new season starts February 10th. And go to sleep or something yeah gonna sleep with me going dude my life was shit in 2020 <laughs> in 2020 <laughs> my life was shit <laughs> i had some dusty <laughs> yeah okay listen dude whatever this to do um have fun okay i had a lot of fun as you said uh yeah listen um the big like the true big stream is february february 10 years yeah, February 10th. As you know, this is the when everything the Jagusa one rerun. I ha I have 11 days to fight Amon on the PS2 before Jagusa Easing comes out. So yeah, I have a, I probably have to do a super stream on Saturday, maybe even Sunday. I guess we'll see. But uh, before February 10th, I'm in the mood of um, you know, for six, seven, eight, nine. I'm in the mood of a little bit of trolling. Do you know what I mean? I just. A little bit of trolling because um let's say let's just say i have like a super early access of like a dragon like a super duper early access <laughs> let's just let's... <laughs> let's just leave it that way okay if you want to check out this super secret early access of like a dragon isin it's up to you do you know where to find me do you know what you know the time but if you just don't give a shit and you just want to, I don't know, you want more Jagusa, like pure Jagusa, um, February 10th. February 10th, it's the rerun of Jagusa 1 to celebrate one year of me streaming the day, <laughs> daily. And I play Jagusa 1, OG Jagusa 1 on my old PS2. There's no emulation, real PS2 time, which probably will, the game, the game looks worse. The game runs with delay. The, rain, the game runs slower. It's awful for the streaming sake, but for me, it makes me really happy to play that game on a real PS2. And after that, of course, it's going to be Isin. Isin Platinum Run. For three hours, Lemo. Yeah, listen, the stream is four hours. I'm pretty sure it's really two hours. Everything else is just talking about bullshit, like talking about wrestling, wrestling, some Invisible Man versus Invisible Stun, life, music, Whatever, dude. 
Listen, as I said, uh, tomorrow I'm not going to be here. Next week, like starting next week, I'm back to the regular schedule. So, super secret Yakuza is in early access. It has no relationship with uh, Way of the Samurai 4. That's completely unrelated, trust me. It just It's really is Yakuza is in. <laughs> but yeah, and February 10th is Yakuza. Yakuza 1 rerun with our. 10 years. And. Piss off. Get out of here. Fuck you. Bring that shit, Kazuma. That's the game. That's the game. So yeah, listen, whatever you do, as I said, whatever you do, have fun. If you don't want to be here, ha whatever, thank you. Have fun with your life. If you want to still hear some asshole talk about um, boars and monkeys, then you know where to find me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Every single person here that got in here to talk about anything. I really appreciate that. You guys know that. Really kind, really kind of you. Uh, you know, I'm out of here. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice Friday tomorrow. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice uh, rest of the week. Let's see how... Let's try to make 2023. Cool. Tally, it started awful for me because Jagusa 5 happened. <laughs> no. It was fine. I mean, for the streaming sake, it was great, honestly. But uh, for me, Jagusa 5 is not my game. Listen, shut the fuck up and get out of here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to everyone here. Everyone just to talk, or maybe if you don't want to talk, whatever. Just listen, just by every single click, I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, see you. Have a nice week. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice Friday. Have a nice everything. Uh, <laughs> Monday, uh, super secret. Jagus is in early access. And Friday, is the, we start with the more Jagus marathon. Bye, dudes. Thank you. Take.